All right, we should be going live right now. Hypothetically. Okay. You are live, Lovely. it says. So we actually uh, succeeded in... Uh, <laughs> succeeded Impressive. in uh, uh, turning on the stream, which is First try. Amazing. My food never came. The DoorDash driver yeah. is making multiple stops nearby uh, and should have been here like uh, a half an hour ago. So, um, I am... Uh, your host, Starving Moon Kitty, and this is Sunnyfall. <laughs> oh, I didn't introduce myself last time. Hi, I'm Sunnyfall. I have my own channel, but I'm on this one today because I like moon. Yeah. Also, like cattails. <laughs> okay, so we're gonna load game, and here we are. Petunia, Yahoo! back in her crab. Uh, oh. We should explain. So, uh, last time when we were finishing off, uh, we asked people to say in the comments who they wanted us to marry, and, uh, as of two hours to go, uh, two hours ago, Charlotte won. So, we're doing that. Yeah. So, Charlotte is, uh, we are now in love with, very much yes. so. Yes. Uh, Charlotte is the love of our life. We love them dearly. <laughs> <laughs> but every time we talk to her, they um, <laughs> they tell us how, how terrible it is being around other people. Well, you know, um, maybe they won't uh, hate being around us as much. <laughs> maybe. All right, it's summer now. I wonder if everyone has different things to say. Hello, Petunia. I trust that you're staying busy today. There's a lot to do today to ensure the safety of the kingdom. You will want to check in with all the residents daily to make sure they're doing their part. You've noticed that a bunch of them just sort of stand around town square? The, uh, the developer stream the other day revealed that they will not be standing around- They're Standing around town uh, square town for square the, the full the release, release, yeah. <laughs> hey, what are you looking at? You don't always have to be doing stuff, you know. You could take a day off and lounge about like us normal cats. What, you think you're special just because you're the leader? Nah, every cat likes to spend a summer day soaking the warmth and doing nothing. Sorry, that was my door desk driver. <laughs> Don't try to convince me otherwise. Um, Coco well, just I, told us to get you working. <laughs> I, I, I love how, um, I, I love how she disrespects us. Quote Petunia. <laughs> Mind your own business. That's an order. I may be elderly, but that doesn't mean I'm useless. Go ahead, try me in a fight, see who wins. Any place, any time. I don't know how often Talon uh, yeah. calls herself elderly, <laughs> but um, it's very relatable. Yeah, yeah. Like, I'm imagining that Talon is just, like, you know... 27 years old. Yeah, yeah, you know? Yeah, like, yeah. like, all the other cats are, like, like the equivalent, equivalent of 21. Here. And yeah, Talon yeah. is, like, you know, 27 I'm, to 30. I'm an elder here. <laughs> For the record, though, as far as Charlotte, uh, I'm totally convinced that uh, her insistence that we also spend a day lounging in the sun is her way of uh, explaining that she cares about us and wants us to practice self-care. We're going to read into all of Charlotte's actions <laughs> as if they are caring. <laughs> because she might like us. Who's to say? Just let's just, let's just be a little optimistic here, I suppose. Yeah. So there's probably a lot of new stuff about um, now that we are uh, now that we're in the summer, like painted butterfly. Of which there's another. God, the spicy water. Don't, uh, don't you? Dip, dip, mm. We talked about this, Petunia. <laughs> I raised you better than this. <laughs> I sure didn't raise her better than this. <laughs> you did not. You were a very bad influence in this regard. Oh my gosh! <laughs> from the from the top <laughs> of the cliff, I killed the lizard. <laughs> <laughs> well, Petunia is also very talented. <laughs> this is oh, the skills that will impress Charlotte. What is that? Tarantula? Uh, just, uh, spider of some sort. Big purple hairy tarantula? Whew. Uh, don't... 
Oh, it turned into a beautiful butterfly. Oh, wait, no, it's still oh, there. Oh, what? Huh. Okay, tropical butterfly. It's tropical because it lives in the It is a lava. tropical butterfly. Hey. Whoa! <laughs> oh, boy. That, oh, boy. All right. Oh, it poisoned me. It made, oh, oh, it made it so that I'm, that I'm facing in the wrong direction. Let's see if I can just barely reach the thing. Not to be cheating at cattails wild with story or anything. <laughs> I don't think there's any such thing. Well, unless you're, like, tinkering with the files or something. But you're not. I'm definitely not doing this correctly. But, you know. Ah! There we go. Ah! Free spider. Spider it is. I'm sure that's delicious and all of my friends want it as a gift. I'm sure that Absolutely. I wouldn't offend anyone by giving them that. No one would hate a spider. <laughs> Ooh, another butterfly. Tiger butterfly. We need to be really careful about what we give Charlotte now. But yeah. also... <laughs> Charlotte seems to like flowers, right? Flowers like the petunia... Probably? <laughs> I I should hope so. Is the petun is the petunia dark enough for her? Snake Lily and Queen of the Night are currently the ones we know she appreciates. Alright, let's eat this. Oh. Let's eat this. There we go. Alright. Maybe head back home and put a bunch of things in our storage compartment. So, we should probably look around at night for that flower she really likes. Probably, yeah. I, I mean, I assume that's not something you would be able to find during the day. I wonder how the spawning works. I wonder if I just, you know... If, if maybe I were to go back and forth a whole lot. Let me see where I am in the map. Okay. If I were to go back and forth a whole lot <laughs> between two areas, if eventually it would just spawn. <laughs> <laughs> mm. Have we picked up any of the lilies? I don't think so. I think that was just on her original profile. Bob's house. Look how it's just like Bob's house is very a fallen nice, yeah. tree or two that have been <laughs> shoved together. Good enough for Bob, I guess. Alright. Storage. Let's just cram all of our junk in storage for now. It would probably be a good idea to keep around like one healing herb, one prey yeah. item. Just, you know, in case. I'm taking the golden seal. And I'm taking some food. Oh, someone says snake lily grows in the fall. I see. So we'd have to stock up on them in the fall and then put them Definitely. all in our storage. Lavender, lavender, thistle. Let's give this thistle to garlic. We can still be friends with garlic. Yeah. I, I want garlic to warm up to us. She's she's very uh very unhappy. I I would appreciate it if uh, every cat in this camp became our friend. Oh, what is it now? Did I mess something up again? I don't want to be in trouble. That's for me. Thanks. Two stars with garlic. You must be really bored if you're talking to me. It must be so tiring to have the weight of the kingdom on your shoulders. It would wear me down to nothing. I think. I suppose someone's got to do it, and it's best someone like you does it, and not someone like me. I get all tuckered out from watching you run around town. No way I would ever do that myself. Uh, various people are also saying that Charlotte, unlike Garlic, actually likes daisies. Mm. Um, I, I mean, I can't guarantee that's true information, but this is what I'm told. Alright, well, let's take a look in our little storage and see if we have put any of, um nature's favorite poison the daisy in um, indeed we have okay back to 
Let's let's provide our dear little crush with a daisy. Please like it. Better like it. Better like it, Charlotte. Hey, what are you looking at? Oh, neat. I actually really like these, Petunia. That's sweet of you. Okay, so from, she does like them. He wouldn't think from I, her aesthetic that she <laughs> likes flowers as much as she does. Maybe she has a soft side. Maybe. Yeah, Jack, 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 I will Jack, add this Jack, to Jack, my Jack, uh, Jack, Jack. list. It's Petunia. Were you looking for me? Days like today make me wish I were more adventurous. There is something alluring about the wilderness that seems to call to me. But I cannot leave my post. How will I know that the town is safe when I'm not around? What if something were to happen to me in the forest? Such places are not for Jag to explore. I am content to stay put and stay safe. Get yourself a kitty cat who talks in third person. <laughs> that is a literal demand to all of you, because we're not getting that kitty cat. No. But... We're um, romancing Charlotte. When I, when I play the game for real, uh, Jag's probably, You'll definitely be getting Jag, yeah. <laughs> um, top of my list there. Oh, I need to really outrun something to get close enough to, uh, to smack it. Yeah, just fly to Canada. <laughs> is Canada in that direction? Yeah, this is- Canada's across the ocean? This is upside down Lake Ontario. Oh, goodness! I never would have guessed! This is what it looks like. Stop sneaking. I, I need to get back into the uh, the 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 rhythm of <laughs> of playing this because I. Keep it's been a week. Attacked. Well, let's look for flowers. Flowers in the wilderness. Like these ones, but, um, takeable. Stealable. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. There's some thistle. There's only so many stealable items in the forest. Mm-hmm. Delicious butterfly coin? Alright, we're, we're loaded. You, you found a coin! I guess, uh... I guess Dropped out of someone's to, pocket. Uh, deforest a little bit, huh? <laughs> for everyone in chat. No, Crab is our ex. We, we broke up with them a long time ago. I, it, it was hard, and there have been some disputes since then, but we're, we're definitely not getting back together with them. It wasn't think, good for us. I think I'm over it, and I think Crab's yeah. over it, too. Yeah. You found a power paw. You are filled with vigor by the ancient, ancient token. There we go. Your run speed has increased. That is the second time my run speed has increased. Very high run speed, then. Maybe I'm just the uh, fastest cat. You can run forever in this one, can't you? In the old one, there was like a sprint function, like a sprint ability. And uh, oh. you could not run forever with the sprint ability. Some, uh... We can give some of this to Crampy. We've got a lot of it all of a sudden. Oh, yeah. Is that a firefly? <gasps> oh! I'm gonna give that to Jag. Oh, yeah. Very he liked true. fireflies in the last game. I wonder if he likes them in this one, too. Or if he's just a. He's changed as a person. He's moved on. He might. Who's to say? <laughs> Soon he just keeps getting faster. <laughs> Soon nobody's going to be even uh, living in the same time frame. Daisy. 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 Perfect. Sneak 
aquatic mouse. Alright, now that it's night, actually, we can, um... Probably start looking around for that, uh... Moonlight flower. Queen of the night? Mm-hmm. I think I remember it being relatively rare, but... It is possible. Here you go, Jag. You really didn't have to. Thanks. Well, he seems to like them. Alright, we already talked to Charlotte today. We're all set on Charlotte's. Yay. Alright, I think this is where we found the Moonlight Flower last time. Nope, crab! We've been over Crabs, this! Leave us alone! No! <laughs> you see crab at a party, party and he just starts chasing you down. <laughs> we can make it work this time. No, I got, crab, we can't. We really, really shouldn't. See, then he just dies on us, like always. Hmm. I do like how in this game you can just kind of uh, wander around in the middle of the night. Yes. Strictly speaking, you never have to sleep. A <laughs> little bit too active of a cat here. This is how you hunt. You just, you just maybe. run. You run around. Run around and slash stuff. Yeah. There we go. <laughs> oh, speaking of hunting, should probably uh, eat something. Eat? Yeah. I like how the cat goes, mmm. <laughs> Not seeing any big pretty flowers. Hmm. Will Charlotte still like us if all we have is daisies? Yeah, yeah, sure. It'll just take longer, probably. In games like Don't Harvest worry, Moon, uh, Moon hmm? Petunia has been fed. <laughs> <laughs> Petunia has been fed. Moon Kitty has not been fed. And uh, it is a matter of time before uh, before I leave you guys alone with Sunny for like two seconds so that I can go grab my food. Snuff her face with food. She she needs to eat. Food is important. Oh, bat! Oh, she just like bat, cattails bat, one. Bat, ah! bat, No! I do not want mail from Crampy. <laughs> or to be robbed by Crampy. get real excited to see me killed by a bat, wouldn't he? <laughs> oh, for science, of course, but... Well, naturally. It's experiments. The science of <laughs> just picking my pockets, basically. Hey, Crampy. How are you doing today? Good day to you. Are you in need of my services? If you have the time, I have many experiments to carry out today. Now, where did I put that jar of leeches? It's right there, Crampy. 
Oh my, you are sick and wounded, Petunia. I may be able to assist you if you'll accept my help. I'm sick too. Uh, sick just in general, I think. I mean, you were poisoned earlier. By my beak, that's an amazing specimen! Greetings, Petunia. Allow me to access your status. I diagnose you as a good leader. <laughs> now then, what can I help you with? Let's see what we're dealing with. Based on my assessment and the cost of materials and labor, I can heal you fully for 13 muse. It would be my honor to patch you up. Okay, sure. I took away more than half of your money. There we are. That looks a lot better. Stay healthy, Petunia. Oh, less than. He he took the 13. Okay. Almost half of our money. Almost half of the money. <laughs> uh, he loves sending us mail, taking our stuff. Oh, but he's a two-star now. Did you see? We're friends-ish. Mind your own business. That's an order. Eh, what's this for? All right. Talent does not care for the shrew. A bit chilly this morning. I'm sure it'll warm up once the sun is out. Let's give one of these butterflies to uh, Sparko. Spark it is probably going to take us uh, longer to get two stars with Charlotte on account of the fact that we made them very, very angry first. Oh yeah. They were not happy with us. What's up? Catch any bugs today? Well, as a matter of fact... Well, actually... You're the best, Petunia. I wanted to sleep in, but a noisy bird wouldn't let me. Harumph. Oh, also, people are telling us to go back to the swamp and get the white rose. White rose. I, I don't know. That That's all I've got. Well, I must have missed it. So let's, uh... The swamp is up here? Or down, I, down here, I think. The bottom left, maybe? Yeah. Hmm. Alright, probably down from here? I would assume. Ah, right. uh, yes. Swamp corner. The house on swamp corner. I am somewhat worried that the white rose would have disappeared as soon as we left. Maybe. Whatever it is, I missed it. Wherever it was, anyway. But I mean, if it's a flower for Charlotte, it's uh, worth looking for, I suppose. I don't even know if it is a flower for Charlotte. They, they just say it's rare. <laughs> well, I might have messed up and missed it. I'm sorry, guys. What is that? Uh, oh, is it a trout? It, uh, its silhouette looked a little, um, a little funny. Oh! I hadn't noticed the animation that Petunia does before when she's lining up to jump into the water. Oh, that's adorable. Does she shake her little butt? Yeah, and her tail lashes back and forth. It's adorable. Oh my gosh. Do you see a white rose? I don't see anything. Yeah. Maybe it was over here. Is it that thing? This is a normal plant. Ah, yeah. It was like Moon Kitty is streaming. It's time to ride my, my motorcycle, huh? Who's that guy? <laughs> it, I've got my windows open because it is 90 degrees today. <laughs> I am surprised you are alive. Mm hmm. 
I am alive, my fan isn't on, and I am playing Cattails Wildwood Story, and I am so hungry. Okay, let's uh, take something out and... You know, I'm, I'm constantly surprised that we can't eat these crabs. Yeah, it is really weird. Maybe we need to, uh, to, to, to unlock the, uh, the crab... Crab claws? The, the, the crab opening cat. Yeah, yeah. The, the cat you bring your crab to and you're like, hey, can you, uh... <laughs> Please open this crab. Can you open this crab? Then they're like, hmm, sure. I'm the best at opening crabs. <laughs> right, let's, let's sell some stuff to Ember. Hello, Petunia. Out on errands? Oh, wait, this is buying Feel free to sell ever. things. Yes. Let's see. How much would you pay for a crab? Nothing. Crab? I can take that off your paw for two mews. What do you say? Sure. Let me take this. Nine butterflies. These fireflies aren't worth the paper they're printed on. <laughs> fireflies are printed on paper? Yeah, I'm an expert. That's amazing. I uh, yeah, please tell me more. Yeah, this is worth quite a bit. Salmon too. No, I don't want to sell the golden seal. Alright, we got a hundred dollars. Let's see what Ember's got. Yay! <laughs> well, we can... Okay, that one I did here. Yeah, yeah. We can uh, buy a divorce flower. Divorce flower? Don't but think who would that's, we ever uh, divorce from? I don't think that's the kind of flower that she wants. Not really. We can buy a jar of leeches to, to be like our hero crampy. <laughs> Den decorations? Mmm, roomy pocket. <laughs> oh... See, see, I go in here and I'm like, hmm, huh. the, the one thing that is useful to gameplay. We could get a little little crown, but that would probably mean we took our flower off. Red rose. You know what? I bet you Charlotte would like this. That symbolizes true love? Oh, wait, give it to... Hmm? Is that how you propose? Is this no, the proposal flower? No, that's the flower? shiny trinket is the, is the proposal Oh, okay, flower. okay. This is just an I like you flower. Yeah. This is uh, just a normal thing that um, two girls who are friends give each other all the time. Sh Charlotte, do, <laughs> do you want this flower? It's it's not like not like I like you or anything. <laughs> hey, what are you looking at? Well, you really thought you had a chance. That's funny. Oh, wait, yeah. maybe it is dating flower. Okay, it might be mind. a dating flower. We might need to be uh, significantly higher <laughs> in relationship before we do that. All right, let's, um, well, what do I have? What do I have? Come on, come on. Uh, Daisy. Daisy, Daisy. Charlotte likes daisies. Can't believe we just got rejected like that. <laughs> I wasn't even trying. I mean, we are barely acquaintances. Oh, neat. I actually really like these, Petunia. That's sweet of you. I'm what they call bad-mannered. That's what my parents called me anyway. They never did figure out what's wrong with me. But I don't care. Couldn't care less about what you think. I'm just trying to live my life, and you and all the others are trying to tread all over me for it. Step off, or I'll push back. Yeah, I think she said that to us before, but it's fine. Yeah. Alright, let's put the rose in our storage, I guess, now that we've uh, wasted all of our money on a, a misunderstanding. <laughs> I mean, we can give it to her later, when we've officially decided to become girlfriend-girlfriend. Take out some food so we don't die of starve. Lizards. 
Uh, let's press X to summon Moldy. Was this me? I don't. I don't think. Ah, uh, yeah, me. yeah. I think it was. Salutations. Is there anything I can do for you, Petonia? A uh, den renovation. Looking to alter your den? I'm your mole. Let us prepare a blueprint for you. Okay. Interesting. How much do we have? It says, okay, it's got a muse cost. So let's, um... <laughs> I lack the adequate oh. funds for that design. <laughs> okay, um, I take it back. Less of that. This card changes. Um, let's try that again. Oh, that's actually nice, like a little alcove at the back. Alright. Spend all our money on this. Oh, we... Okay, yeah. Okay. I was briefly worried we couldn't get back there because of the rocks in the way. Alright, I don't know what furniture we have, but let's, uh, let's open catalog. Oh, we've got, like, everything. Oh, shoot! Okay. <laughs> Alright, we're gonna... <laughs> Place flags. Like it's Minecraft. Let's see. Modern interior decoration. <laughs> Windows. <laughs> Sorry, I'm going for all of the like weirdest humanist stuff <laughs> I can find. Go ahead. Uh, what in the world is the rainbow shield? Oh, it's the emblem. Oh, it's the current emblem. That's a very good idea. <laughs> that looks bad. <laughs> <laughs> uh, Two rug. How many rugs do we need? All. All of the rugs. Cover your entire floor in rugs. Gym bench? Sure. Why not? Time to work out. Are we impressing champ here? <laughs> <laughs> no. I mean, we could, though. What's wrong with champ? Hmm, hmm. You seem to like champ an awful lot all of a sudden, huh? Yeah, well, you know, I really didn't before, but then they started to grow on me. <laughs> Alright, there it is. Our beautiful new room. Wait, uh... T <laughs> sorry, summoning Molby again. Um, but is the, the den style changes thing, is that a cost thing, or can you just change it whenever you like? Um, let's see. X to change style. I don't think that costs anything. Oh, nice. <laughs> We're going to have a somewhat patchwork. Oh, boy. Okay, so, so I that does cost something? No, Somehow? I think, I, I, think I, I pressed out of bounds. Oh, oh, okay. We're going to have a somewhat patchwork den, and this is perfect. Because Petunia is <laughs> a patch cat anyway. Alright, time for the uh, renovation of a lifetime. Perfect! <laughs> yes! Oh, it looks like a Minecraft house, it really does. <laughs> <laughs> it does! <laughs> um, this, this is, is everything this is my, we need. Uh, my dirt Minecraft house. <laughs> Oh, it's so hard to tell. Oh, we changed starts. the walls too. Oh. <laughs> I cannot even tell what is a wall and what is the floor anymore. <laughs> it's beautiful. It's wonderful. We're living it's in perfect. paradise. It's perfect. This is exactly what we needed. Ha. Okay. <laughs> I didn't even real. I didn't read the description for the rose. I was just like, hmm, we're gonna buy this and we're gonna give this to <laughs> Give it to Charlotte. Yeah. 
Yeah, I don't, um, I don't trust myself to give anyone in this town anything, um, without Not after last time. Um, <laughs> oh, also, people want us to go in the, uh, the crystal cave. Okay. It's the mines. <laughs> Alright, we're gonna go in the mines. We're gonna do it. You're just standing there, or are you ready to talk business? I ain't got all day. Either fork over your gemstones or get going. How, how, how do I mine? You want to know more about mining? All right, I'll fill you in on the details. I bet you could find some really big gems with those claws of yours. Oh, that's great, because uh, Charlotte likes amethyst, which is a gem. Hmm, I don't know who that is. I live in a cave. What you'll want to do is enter the cave behind me. I know, it looks spooky and scary and dark. That's because it is. This isn't a hobby for the faint of heart. Cowards need not apply. Molo, I, I appreciate the gesture, but we're working for love. There is no danger too great. I don't know love, I'm a mole. <laughs> oh, no! Lots of big rocks down there that you can break open with your claws. Some rocks have nothing of value. Some are stuffed full of precious gems. The deeper you go, the more valuable the stuff you'll find. Why did you extend your voice on gems? It was rainbow, okay? I'm a mole. <laughs> can it's words be labor. rainbow? It's, it, yes! <laughs> it's hard labor. You'll work up a sweat in no time. So make sure you bring some food when you go down. Also, you might want to bring some healing herbs with you. My uh, workers tell me there's some mean-spirited beasts down there that won't like you uh, stomping around. Sounds Every... like the above ground to me. Eh. I've never been there, I'm a mole! <laughs> Every 25 le levels you'll find a rest stop where my workers have set up a little shop. There are some safe spots to take a break and come back later. Once you've found one, you'll be able to get back to it in no time from the surface. Level 100 is the bottom. That's your goal. That's where all the diamonds are hiding. Down near the rocky core of the earth. There might even be some other prizes in it for you if you can make it that far. Alright, that's everything I know. Now stop wasting my time and get to work! That that was very helpful and informative, Molo, but also I think you need to get out more. Literally out of cave. this cave. You think I can leave this cave? I think you should. I'm a mole! You can tunnel anywhere. Oh, this is a different one. <laughs> Oi! If it ain't Petunia! You come to help us moles down in the caves? There's a mother load, uh, load just round the corner. I can smell it. There used to be a staircase that led further down somewhere around here, but I seems lost it. Maybe a recent caving covered it with some of th those big rocks. I bet you could use those sharp cat claws of yours to break them up and find them for me. I can't help but notice your claws are longer than mine. No, see, look at this. Watch this. Bam. Okay, but Boom. you're very powerful. I don't even- I don't think that the cat has stamina. Which <sighs> is like, um... Which, which, uh, in Stardew Valley you have, you have stamina. Um, and in Stardew Valley you have a time limit. I'm pretty sure that this cat can mine for forever. Ever. <laughs> Petunia is extremely talented. This is what we'll win Charlotte your over. Food will allow you. Oh. Oh. <laughs> Simple enough. Oh, but there's a bat this time. Yeah, of course there's a bat. This is a cattails mine. <laughs> <laughs> If the bats weren't in the cattails mine, um, I I'm I'm looking at like a like a paradise of a future, like a like a utopia. All right, we're on mine level five. And mossy. Oh, you need a masonry kit to get through this. If only I had a masonry kit. Maybe you could find a amazing work kit. Maybe it's something that I need to buy from mole. What is this? Oh, but... A key? Uh, a key hidden... So, if you okay. can find a masonry kit or a key. That's a key! Wow. Well, well, another staircase found. Consider me impressed, Petunia. I'll consider you an honorary mole from now on. 
Just remember to keep your eye on your stomach as you mind. It's tiring work, you know, what with all that rock smashing and jam hauling. Always nice to have a meal in hand in case you work up an appetite. <laughs> now then, what are we doing hanging around here? There's a whole new level waiting to be explored beneath our feet, Petunia. Also, you may have noticed some staircases are blocked or impassable. If you can't use one staircase, there will always be a way to unlock it or another staircase to find under another rock. Never give up. We do not have a masonry kit. Okay, key door it is. Wait, what's this? Iron ore, huh? Iron ore. You think cats can smelt? <laughs> Who's to say? I'll pick it we up have advanced medicine and construction. I don't see why we can. And, and we have lava next door. Yeah, we can totally smelt. That thing Smelting look, is something uh, we would have of the about. natural world to me. Yeah, it it yeah. <laughs> Lucky, uh, is it chasing me? I can't even tell. It No, it just bounces around whenever it hits a wall. If I'm lucky, I can just uh, avoid fighting anything in this game. And, That's uh, the way everything should be done. Keep doing, going down the mines forever. <laughs> These are some sharp cat claws. This is a bit... <laughs> very, very strong cat claws. A bit wild. Can, can we go up to Charlotte and impress them with our very strong cat claws? <laughs> can we attack Charlotte, please? <laughs> no, 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 no! Just, you know, <laughs> show off your pointers. Show off how much hunting you could do for them. Oh, that's a hard fish. I guess it's a fish in a mine. Oh, wait, is this amethyst? <gasps> quartz. Oh, quartz. Well, there isn't a huge difference, but... Uh-oh. You can smelt- uh, can you smelt, Petunia? The gems ain't far off now. This is about how far down you gotta be before you start seeing them. Quartz is the for first one you'll encounter, and it's mighty plentiful. Later, you might find topaz, amethyst, emerald, maybe even a diamond or two if you're lucky. If you see a rock with some pointed crystals poking out, make sure to smash it open and see what's inside. Any gems you find can be sold to Molo on the surface. There's enough mole cash for everybody, and the gems are plentiful once you get really deep down. Wow, Petunia did not like the lizard. <laughs> Is it? Oh. No. It would have yeah. said amethyst has been added to yeah. your uh, your collection. Collection, yeah. It looked vaguely purple in the lighting, which not all amethyst is, but colloquially we understand amethyst to be purple. Fireballs. Oh, yeah. Range attacks. Dark candle added to your collections. As opposed to light candles. Which the most bat? of them are. I don't... I, I, I think I... Yes, I can eat the bat. Gross, says Petunia. <laughs> <laughs> Alright. I like how the cat has opinions on what, what she wants to eat and what she doesn't. Also, spike trap? Who even designed this place? <laughs> <laughs> this is weird! Thank you. 
I, I wonder how much quartz will sell for. basically sustain yourself in here by um, fighting bats for the rest of your life. Pretty much, yeah. Well, you wouldn't get healing herbs that way. No. I'd assume. Yeah. Yeah, it was just a different shape rock, so I was like, huh. Guess you can't break that one. Big rock you cannot break. Maybe it's amethyst of a, of a higher level, uh, not amethyst, a quartz, quartz of a higher uh, quality from that kind of rock. Potentially. Or maybe it's just for visual interest. Silver ore? Oh, I didn't even realize Silver that. ore? I wonder what this stuff is for. Obviously, it's exciting to mine that kind of thing in, a, in Stardew because you can build better yeah. tools, but... Well, I think someone might like it. Hmm, true. Uh, for example, um, in terms of quartz, garlic hates quartz. <laughs> um, so, you know, don't give it to them. But someone else might well like quartz. <laughs> Garlic hates everything. <laughs> Garlic sees us coming and tries to go back to the Garlic hates the everything house. we give them. <laughs> Our relationship wasn't gonna work out. <laughs> I wanna I, I I want I want uh I want them to open up. I want them to become our friend. But dating Charlotte is still the optimal path here. And the agreed upon one. Well, yes. That that part is understood. How much quartz is in my inventory right now? Let's... Oh. Oh, shoot. <laughs> Quite the quartz collection. I was going to guess three stacks. We'll be approaching the 25th level soon, which apparently is one uh, that uh, we can return to at any time once we get there. Gold ore? We're getting gold before Ooh. Amethyst? Well, I mean, you can find gold on the surface, in the real world. I'm getting some wool coins. And to be fair, though, you can find quartz in the real world on the surface as well. And Amethyst occasionally. A chest? With honeycomb inside. Honeycomb! And money? <laughs> Might Bad been chest. A rock. What was that? That's interesting, though. Maybe it's giving me stuff that's out of season. Oh, potentially. Uh, like snake. 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 It looks. It looks a bit. A bit like something I don't want to. What? Well, okay. Oh. I learned my lesson. I stepped on it on purpose, even. Yep. Next time we don't do that. Now the snake just got hit by the spike trap. <laughs> oh no! Leave me alone. If you have any intentions about fighting the snakes, uh, Talon likes those. Yeah. Take that snake. Whoa. <laughs> we have absolutely done our part. Oh, uh, we adder, did a valiant deed in killing this snake. It's an adder. Alright, we should probably get going um, next time I get hurt because, um... Well, we are almost at the point where you could go yeah. and return to it, so it I'm might be a good idea to stop at that you. point.
Oh, apparently they're they're saying Glimmer likes quartz. Mmm. Which I can believe. Glimmer a bunch of a bunch of quartz. Glimmer's house is probably already filled with quartz, though. <laughs> oh, did the mouse Just land on the spike? Give them trap? more quartz. <laughs> Let's uh, eat that mouse right about now. And so apparently, as as Champ likes Adams. I don't know if I. Um... <laughs> Champ might like adders. We know Champ probably doesn't like rocks, because when he was mad at us, he sent us some. Yeah, yeah. So, you know, rocks, probably not a sign of goodwill. <laughs> I love it when there's characters in games like Stardew Valley and, and Harvest Moon, though, that um, want garbage. I think that's funny. <laughs> There, there was one, I think it's, I think it's Mary Harvest Moon, I'm not sure, it could be a different one. Um, Mary in, in Friends of Mineral Town likes, uh, likes honey. And you can get, oh. like, a tree that makes honey every day, and then oh. just give her the honey from your tree. <laughs> yeah, maybe from the tree every day. Mm -hmm. You. No trust. Oh, less trust. Oh, uh... Leave me alone, I don't like range of fire attacks. creature. I only need a couple more levels. Ah, uh, alright, get down there. Go away, go away. Not confident about fighting anything at this point. Considering we have no way to heal, yeah. Yeah. Still wondering if the cat can smell. Nope. Oh, mm, no, uh, no, not, not now, thanks. Um, actually, we're, ah! we're good. Ah, 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 stay in the water. I, 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 I think they don't, uh, get as bad in the water. Oh, boy. Yeah, no, I'm, 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 I'm creating a, a problem for myself here. Ah, ha, ha, ha. Okay. There is, a, a, okay. Uh, Mine level hmm. 24, I suppose. <laughs> ah, ha, ha, ha. Uh, you're trapped kind of okay. I'm trapped kind of in general here. Okay, I'm gonna die. Ah, ah. Uh, 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 go, 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 go. I, I, I swore. I swore on stream. <laughs> oh. Ha ha ha. Yeah. Here we are. Hi, mold. Rock's bad. Gem's good. Mold knows how to dig like it's nobody's business. You've made it to the rest stop. Pretty good, Petunia. If you need anything, I can run a store that sells basic provisions for mining. Okay. Well, there's a headlamp kit. is uh, apparently necessary as we're going into the next 25 levels, so we'll need to build up some money. Mm. And this all costs Muse, and I don't have any Muse, so I think we're gonna go back up now that we've reached the rest stop. Oh, yeah, sell the- sell the rock debris. Not because it's worth anything, but because what else would you do with it? So like half of this quartz. Alright, let's see what he's got for sale. Hey. Oh, he also sold the masonry kit for 40, but I'm guessing this is, um... I'm guessing this is consumable. There's the headlamp. Yeah. Headlamp is more important at the moment. Um, but, hmm. I'm sorry, wait a minute. Pet rock debris. Pet rock debris? An ordinary rock. You shouldn't expect much from it. Wait a second, did it just move? Ha ha ha. That is the most plane. expensive pet. <laughs> yeah, it is. Will Petbat fight for me? If Petbat would fight for me, I'll take it. 
All right. For now, let's uh, let's just not spend our mole coins yeah. while we're. Um, it would be a good time. idea to go out and get something that would heal us. Yeah. Let's. Uh, I think we got some in our in our trunk. Well, actually, here, here. Oh, we've got a catnip from the mines. We could Ooh. give that to someone. Someone like Charlotte. Charlotte, Charlotte, do you want some catnip? Oh, not only do we have catnip, it's a three-star catnip. Ooh. Charlotte, do you want some special Wait, hold catnip? On. Hold on, hold on, hold on. Um. We already gave Charlotte a gift today. We gotta wait until tomorrow. <laughs> Charlotte, would you like some special catnip tomorrow? Yeah. Let's give some quartz to Glimmer. Yeah. And then we might need to head home and get some golden seal or something. To what do I owe the pleasure of your esteemed presence? In a vision, I saw a great calamity befall you, Petunia, and now you drag yourself to me in a wretched state. You must put that thought to your recovery- must put thought to your recovery immediately. Yeah, I know, I'm all beat up. Glimmer's sweet, actually. I can take that. Well, she doesn't feel one way or another about courts, but... I'd imagine it's because, uh... They have tons of it. Alright, uh, Glimmer Seal. Let's just, um, apply that on our wounds. I do think our den looks remarkably much better <laughs> with some variation. Hmm. If you say so. <laughs> Well now, how are you doing, Petunia? I would enjoy a friendly chat today. Not much has been going on in my life. I've just been taking it a day at a time. That's always been my policy. Put one paw down and then the next. Ain't worth the trouble to look too far ahead. Alright, you want a trout? Well now, thank you very much. That just made my day. The way we run like a horse. <laughs> okay. Uh, yeah, so we've got a catnip in our inventory. We'll give that to Charlotte tomorrow. For the rest of today, let's look around for more flowers. Daisies. Roses. But not, uh, not proposal roses, as it turns out. Just normal roses. You can't, apparently you can't, uh, you can't give a proposal rose, uh, between friends. Can't come to the first date with a proposal rose? Yeah. Even though I think uh, it's the uh, friendship ideal. Oh, hey Bagheera. Did you come to visit? Free Bagheera, huh? <laughs> Bagheera has uh, ch taken refuge over by the window so that she may gaze out on her empire. Oops. Instead of the crouch button, I, I, I chose the uh, whack button. Alright, alright, alright. Let's, um... Let me know if you uh, see any paw print shapes so we can get faster. Yeah. Back in the great paw uh, uh, grass eating kingdom. There we go. Sorry, I looked at the chat for a second. <laughs> <laughs> Someone wants us to uh, feed them our trash. Yeah, yeah. Yes, okay. 
Discord's uh, stream quality went down for a quick second, and it looked like the squirrel was a miniature cat instead of a squirrel. Yeah, the squirrel from the, the squirrel when it's facing upwards seems to have a bit of a um, a, a cat-like tail. <gasps> Rabbit. Uh, nope. Oh. Rabbit Oh, <laughs> You found a power paw. You are filled with vigor by the ancient token. Yeah? Yeah. Your maximum hunger has increased. Well, I guess I'm less hungry now. Yeah. bird for me. But the bird seems awful confused, so maybe bird for me. <laughs> maybe bird. But there's also a lot of flowers in the way. <laughs> a bird and who bird has, can ha fly. Who struggles with the concept of cliffs. <laughs> oh, come on. Oh. <laughs> There we go. Very nice. Bird time. Bird time, bunny time. All right, let's go back down to the swamp, see if we can't find a rose. Oops. Lovely. Do you know where it was last time? Or was it only the chat who saw it? I I did not see it personally, no. Is there anything good enough here for Charlotte? Well, we do have the cat for now. We do, yes. And hopefully that should boost her to two stars with us. Please. But we'll see. Seeing as we didn't offend her terribly. Wait, <laughs> did, we, did we offend Charlotte or was it just everyone else? Oh, we offended Charlotte as well. <laughs> I believe uh, we gave Charlotte the Void Marrow. Oh, um, yeah. That was a bad we, idea from the beginning. <laughs> uh, yeah, yeah. But then we fixed our relationship, and then we gave her a lizard. And she also doesn't like lizards. Oh, there's a friend over there. Oh, hi, friend. Yeah, they're, they're pretty <sighs> I, calm and casual when they can't see you. Yeah. We were just discussing their flesh, so I mean, I understand why they why they would think that they were talking about us, but we were talking about them. There we go. I can word. Feeling a bit hostile. Some golden seal for next time I get my ass kicked. I mean, my butt, my butt kicked. For next time <laughs> I get my butt kicked, I am being considerably worse than the last time. Um. <laughs> Moon Kitty, get your act together. Anyway. Get you a friend who talks in the third person. I believe I have. <laughs> <laughs> oh, male. Is this me? Uh, that that was the top level one. I think that was you. Petunia, the records indicate you've dug down to level 25 of the mines. 
Great work. I have attached some mole cast to show our appreciation. Lend a paw whenever you get a chance and we'll continue to reward you for your labor. Petunia! Good work today, jigging in the mines. We need all the help we can get. Here's a small sign-in bonus for your trouble. There's more where that came from if you continue digging down. All right, let's, uh, let's look at the, the, the television. Television. As you gaze, you see an image of the skies appear. Today, watch out for a thunderstorm that will last until noon. When the rain will lighten up, the clouds part around 3 p.m. and will have clear skies all evening. Right now, it's raining heavily. Welcome back to Green Paw. I'm your host, Violet Catsworth. In today's episode, we'll take a look at summer plans and how to make the most of them. The temperature is warm and the rain, rain is not so constant in the summer, but an afternoon thunderstorm can still bring much needed nourishment to many of the herbs that grow in the wild. One plant to keep an eye out for is foxglove, a gorgeous pink plant with several bell-shaped blossoms. Foxglove flowers are exceptionally rare, but well worth harvesting. When consumed, the foxglove plant has a special inv invigorating property that will make you stronger while it is in your system. One cat can strike with the strength of two. You will also still find raspberries and licorice sprouting here and there, but those two plants are on their way out. Harvest them now if you want to keep some for the rest of the year. They will soon go dormant. I've been your host, Violet Catsworth. I'll return next season with more foraging advice. Ta-ta for now! Alright, let's get some wisdom. While you stare into the depths, you can hear kindly voices calling out to you with words of wisdom. Please make me smart. Hello, Petunia. How are you? I'd like to tell you about combat today. Oh, don't worry. I know all about that. It's called mashing the space bar. <laughs> In a perfect world, a cat would never need to unsheathe their claws and come to blows with another creature. But this is the Wildwood, and danger is all around. You must be wary as you travel through the world, so you will not be caught off guard by an unseen foe. When a fight is about to break out, you have two basic options. The first is to simply flee. No enemy will pursue you for long if you leave the area, because most creatures are territorial by nature. There is usually a good chance to escape combat before it even begins, if that is your preference. The other option is to engage and try to win the brawl with your strength. Use your claws, but also your brain. It is important that you make use of your environment and your dexterity when fighting. It is not enough to simply stand still and keep slashing until you win. That is a great way to become severely injured. If you get into a battle, I wish you all the best of luck. Remember what I taught you. You have a beautiful soul. Others will recognize it in you and give thanks for your presence in their lives. That's a little creepy. Yeah. Sweet, though. Let's go sleep in our workout bed. <laughs> Just like all people with workout rooms, we do not work out. <laughs> uh, yeah. Let's look at the calendar. Tomorrow's Ember's birthday. Ooh! Oh, wait, Monday was, uh, Glimmer's birthday. Oops, missed it. Next week is both Laney and Fliss's birthday. It looks like they are indeed twins. Mm-hmm. Oh, they have got eyes on the exact same side, too. They are hard to tell apart. <laughs> oh, it's raining. It's pouring. Thunderstorming. As Violet Catpaws, uh, I might have messed up that name, but as they told us. I forgot to grab the uh, cat. Yay. There we go. Hey, what are you looking at? Okay, if you're sure you want me to have it, I'll take it. I can't put my paw on it, but I just know that today is going to be awesome. There's something in the air, Petunia. It's called rain. 
It's called Rain Charlotte. I always took storms to be a good omen. It's good to remember how powerful nature is once in a while. We're just insignificant cats after all. Storms don't care about us. I Charlotte's Charlotte, Charlotte's Ron lovely. On the, on the, on the <laughs> thumbnail. This is a fine. I'm sure that she has another one that's black with white spikes, though, so... Yeah, probably, yeah. Very Just none with colors. Concerned, you know? Alright. Uh, do you want to try looking for Amethyst, or do you want to run around a little bit more out here? Mm -hmm. How much healing stuff do you have? Not much. You know what? That might be a good thing to look into. Yeah, because I'm just thinking if you're going into the mines for 20... Hi, Bagheera. If you're going into the mines for 25 levels, which is what you seem to need to do if you want to get to a safe spot, um, yeah, a bunch of healing. <laughs> I, thought I, needed. I wonder if Crampy sells it. He might. Crampy, do you sell anything besides healing? You can see. There's some. Anyway, we should probably go in with more than we had last time at the very Yeah. Least, which was three, I think. It got a little tight at the end. <laughs> I, I was I, I was sure we were going to go. Free rat? Also, people are uh, reminding us and have been reminding us that we also have uh, medium and heavy attacks and have so far only been using light attacks. Yeah, I forgot to. That was right in the center, very nice. Use our, our medium and heavy t attacks on the foliage. <laughs> it's good practice, at least. Alright, um. Go sell my inventory. To Where am I? Go sell my inventory to Ember and see if we can't get the uh, the money necessary to uh, possibly buy some gold and steel from Crampy. I don't know if he sells things, but we will learn. Da -da -da -da. Do -do -do. Oh, oops. This oh, is you talking to me. Rain's good for something. It hides your scent and muffles your sounds. Of course, that works in reverse, too. Keep your wits about you and you won't fall victim to the schemes of smarter cats. Yeah, does that include you, champ? Well, yeah. I mean, there's a lot of cats smarter than you. No offense. <laughs> Hello, Petunia. Out running errands? If shopping is on your list, I can help with that. Is it possible to sell quartz out here? Or is quartz only sellable in I'd mines? imagine that the quartz could be sold out here. I could go get it and we can see. Just because in the event that one could sell that, it seems like it would be a profitable thing to do. Who was it that liked honeycomb? We were talking about how they liked honeycomb. Was it garlic? Oh, shoot. Ah. Uh, hold on. Uh, Talon. Talon likes honeycomb. Oh, you know what? Let's, let's, let's give the honeycomb to Talon. That would be fun. Alright, quartz. 
reports from our inventory. You did give uh, one of the quartz to Glimmer, though, right? I did, and Glimmer was not terribly impressed. Yeah, okay. It wasn't really a favored gift kind of response. Okay. Yeah, we can sell the quartz, too. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Let's get Talents and Money going. Mind your own business, that's an order. I don't know what I did to deserve this, but I'll gladly take it. I may be elderly. Me too. <laughs> Please, ancient warrior Moon Kitty, teach us your wisdom. Greetings, Petunia. Allow me to assess your status. I diagnose you as a good leader. Now then, what can I help you with? Okay, so it doesn't look like Crampy sells anything. Yeah, Crampy does not sell stuff. Let's see if Ember sells healing items. Actually, I think they might. So I, I think I saw Marigold on, on that list, but it might have been on the sell list. In the we sell them list. There's Golden Seal. Oh, yeah. Let's uh, just... Spend all of our money on this. So that I don't have to go looking for it. There we go. Six should be good. And I've got some food in my inventory, too. So let's uh, go Do you have anything in your inventory that you wouldn't like to lose? No, I only have supplies. Yep. Okay. In we go. There are a lot of moles here. Ah, uh, this is what you need the headlamp for. Mm, maybe I should go back up, go buy one with my mole coins. <laughs> All right, let's uh, put accessories menu in the code studio, which means. Oh, we can wear both at once. Great. Oh, lovely. We didn't even have to remove our flower. take it anymore i need to go get my food <laughs> okay so, go ahead uh, go ahead i'm gonna leave you alone with the chat for a few minutes i will be alone with the chat hello everyone moon is consuming food now well going to consume food it is important that she get nutrient rich products into her system Petunia X Charlotte is exactly what we are aiming for, eventually. But we have a lot to make up for. Add her for Talon, uh, we will try again another time. Because we've already given her a gift today. Uh, yes, I, I did hear that the Netflix show for Wings of Fire got cancelled. It is incredibly sad. But uh, there isn't much we can do. 
Well, okay. Uh, no, actually, I haven't eaten anything yet either. But, well, no, okay. I haven't eaten dinner yet, but I'm going to eat after the stream. I had lunch. I had lunch, which is perfectly fine. Um, hey, Sunny, aren't you the person who made that PO3 AU? Uh, probably. Uh, Pause of Stars, uh, rewrite of Power of Three and Ome of the Stars. Yeah, that's me. <laughs> uh, she she is eating Chinese food. Moon is eating Chinese food. Uh, Wings of Fire was wonderful. Uh, I've enjoyed almost every book in the series. Um, the third arc was my favorite. Now that it has ended, um, it had my favorite cast of characters and my favorite plot line. It was great. Uh, <laughs> what am I having for dinner? Well, it'll be a while, but I'm going to have Indian <laughs> some curry. <laughs> you can tell Moon Kitty uh, that you love her videos yourself. Miss Sunny, how do you feel about mole? Oh, I, I feel uh, neutral to positive about the moles. The moles are nice. I enjoy the variety. Who's my favorite Cattails character? Oh boy. Um, at this point, I think it's either Charlotte or Buttercup. A preference that I was starting to uh, acquire even before the comments vote went out. <laughs> Sunny, what do you think about Molt X Molo? Well, <laughs> I don't know uh, what their canonical relationship is. These people could all be family, for all I know, but in the event that they're not related, sure, what the heck. <laughs> Favorite kind of curry. Oh boy. Um, <laughs> a standard chicken curry, but it's from a few specific places. Um, Are you talking about mole shipping in here? Hi, Moon. Hi. Sorry, not to distract from the curry. Uh, so curry is the sort of thing where it's really dependent on who's cooking it, where you're getting it from. Because curry by itself basically just means spiced sauce. Uh, so the exact spices that go into it, the levels and proportions, are what make uh, a particular curry very good. Finding a good Indian place is uh, a very special thing. But also, Moon's back. <laughs> Hi. I, I might uh, mute a little bit um, when we're. If you need to eat, active, that's fine. But... Uh, this is kind of dangerous. Uh, yeah. Uh, hmm. <laughs> Realizing very quickly that um that this might not be the safest place to be. Not really fond of these uh fireflies and how they send things for me to die. I really don't like the part where they're shooting things from the dark, so you can't even see them. These power-up moves are also very hard to aim. I also apologize. Uh, I do not have any spare cardboard boxes on account of the fact that my cardboard boxes go to my cats. <laughs> the chat's asking for cardboard boxes? Yeah, yeah. You know, I have a suspicion that they're all cats, honestly. It's entirely possible. I mean, who else would watch our content? <laughs> it's just been cats this whole time. Yeah. <laughs> Alright. Maybe somewhere there's, um... Is that like a silver cricket? White cave cricket. Not quite silver, but... Alright, we're gonna die in here, and it's gonna be miserable. <laughs> yeah. Uh, yes, Petunia is our child. Uh, this is why it's very sad that she She's uh, keeps die dying. <laughs> uh, you, you got... First time tonight, though. Oh, boy. <laughs> but I, need to, I need to put the stuff away from... Ah, uh, ah, uh, ah, uh, ah, uh, ah, uh, ah. Uh. No, no, I'm not good at this. And there's no way to level up right now, currently, so, um... Yeah. 
I don't think that the uh, the amethyst plan is gonna go too well because uh, we we could first... just go with flowers. Flowers are acceptable. This this is the first level, and I'm already uh, kind of getting. Um... You know, if I if I if I took out a controller, this might help. It's the the keyboard controls plus whatever the heck is going on right now is not doing well. <laughs> and off we go to see Crampy again. <laughs> Goodness me! Petunia, you're awake! Excellent! You were looking pretty bad when we found you. Lucky we got to you when we did. But never fear, I have patched up your injuries. A little rest has done some good, hmm? I'll just need to assess you once more before I set you loose. You may have dropped some things when you passed out. I'd be more careful from now on if I were you. All right, you look fine to me. Stay safe out there, Petunia. I'd hate to see you in that awful state of fourth time. Look at all the all the stuff he stole. <laughs> Gold door, crampy. Not the adder though, so we can still get uh, the adder. We can still feed that to Talon later. Mm-hmm. Talon who hates crabs but loves snakes. <laughs> as far as I've been able to tell from their preferences, it seems like Talon doesn't like seafood of any kind. Mm -hmm. Someone asked what the warrior code is for the grass-eating kingdom, or the warrior <laughs> code equivalent. equivalent. Well, eat, eating <laughs> grass uh, is, is what we stand for, but I'm sure we have... Uh, obviously. Uh... We have other things in mind, like, uh... One must consume grass at least once a day. There's probably some sort of rule about standing still for 18 hours a day, because, uh... uh... Naturally. Uh, thou must never sleep. <laughs> you know to be cute. Oh, of course. Uh, if the, um... If the, uh, friends that come out when it's dark, if they ran away mm -hmm. from the headlamp. <laughs> that would be lovely. See if we can't find some daisies. Thistle? <laughs> Sorry, uh, Riddle just said, uh, Sunnyfall can play your angel or your devil. Either adorable nerdy crampy or murderous maple shade. A maniacal maple shade. <laughs> <laughs> hey, I'm the one playing maple shade. <laughs> <laughs> In every case but today, you're Maple Shade. Oh wait, yeah, you were Maple Shade in my video. I thought yeah. I thought that Riddle was talking about Thistle. <laughs> oh yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Who mentally have been calling Maple Shade for ages now? <laughs> oh no! <laughs> Finally, a Warrior Cats game where I can date Maple Shade. I'm sure this won't go poorly for me. <laughs> this will go perfectly. Don't you worry about it. Oh boy. Uh, th this is the uh, promotional demo for the game. Um, if you have a following already, you could apply to get a key. They have a limited amount. Um, but otherwise, the alpha will be coming out later on the Kickstarter. Mm -hmm. uh, in August, I think. In August, yes. Or at least that's the, the goal. The aim. Projected date. I mean, I, I could be wrong. I don't have this memorized, but I'm pretty sure it's August. And. Um, if you if you're signed up with the Kickstarter, uh, you'll probably get a uh, if if you're on the alpha tier of the Kickstarter, you'll probably get a version of the game that uh, largely resembles this but better um, in August. Yeah, and uh, I believe as long as you're at a tier where you get the game, uh, you also get a little uh, rainbow firefly pet that's Kickstarter exclusive. Don't quote me on that. I believe that's what it was. Yeah, and, and that will lead you to uh, herbs in the wild. Uh, I was watching this. This is all just secondhand information from watching the devs stream three days ago. Uh, yeah, just <laughs> go watch the actual Cat Tales YouTube channel if you want to know accurate information. Mm -hmm. Yeah, don't. I I am not. Uh, <laughs> I'm not good at remembering things. Don't so. take our word at anything. I 
do want to see if we can, uh, hmm. I wonder how long it'll take, like, 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 uh, romance-wise. Uh, if you give someone a good gift every day, it seems like they go up a star. I would, I, do you think that the, the stars are, um, are diminishing returns, or do you think that they're all, um, standard? Uh, hard to say at this point. Um, maybe standard? Maybe? I think they were standard in the last game, so... Yeah. It would be my best guess that it's standard, but I could also be entirely wrong. Is that a B? Oh, mistakes were made. Oh, ah, uh, ah. Uh. <laughs> no, that's definitely a B. Yeah, Hello, B. No, and now Let's every see. B on Earth wants to kill me. Wants for to my kill you. Yeah. That, that's a common trait in video game bees, that it, you kill one, you kill them all policy. Or anger them all. Don't get to kill them all. studio um all right we haven't spoken with charlotte or given charlotte a gift today so we can do both daisy from our den i guess because uh we know that works out that's all we have <laughs> that we're sure about mm -hmm. charlotte also seemed kind of neutral about the catnip but that might just be charlotte being charlotte yeah i I, I think the catnip gives large point bonuses, uh, mechanically. Oh, neat. I actually really like these, Petunia. That's sweet of you. Two stars. We are friends. Oh, look, it's Petunia, here to talk my ear off again. What's up? Seems like everybody has a best friend or a tight-knit group. You know what I'm talking about. Maybe my brain is broken or whatever, but I don't really have that drive. It is what it is. I'm self-reliant and better off alone, I think. You really seem like you're trying to get to know me, Petunia. I don't want to let you down when I don't return the favor. But maybe you will return the favor one day, Charlotte. Yeah, we'll see about that, Charlotte. <laughs> well, will you- will- nope. Let's try that one again. We'll woo you yet. If you're grassy and you know it, clap your hands. Huh, <laughs> you talking to me? If you ever see me out and about, I'm not taking a leisurely stroll. I'm looking for a fight. If you wander around long enough, you're bound to stumble into one. It's dangerous out there. Just how I like it. <laughs> Champ's funny. <laughs> what garbage should we give Champ, chat? Oh no, don't give Champ garbage. Which of our which of our useless junk items should Champ get? Not the adder, though. That's that's saving. Uh, forever. do you have any shrews? I have a vole. It's like a shrew, but like, not quite. Oh, well, I mean, maybe they'll like it. Who's to say? Mm. They like rats and shrews, so they might just like all mouse-like things. All right. Let's see. Let's see. Much appreciated. I'll be sure to put this to good use. Okay. Sounds like they liked it. Was that the uh, mouse or the bull? The bull. I will add this to the list. Oh! Are you talking to me? I'm so sorry. I startled easily. Oh, are, are you sure about that? I, I, I don't really know what to talk about. Sorry, Petunia. 
dork. <laughs> Buttercup's a sweetie. I think Buttercup is a dork. <laughs> they could be a dork and a sweetie. You must be really bored if you're talking to me. That's for me? Thanks. Coco told me it's not safe to wander far from town. Something about scary shadow figures lurking in the shadows, waiting to pounce on unsuspecting cats like me. That's more than enough reason to stay put and shelter in place. No reason to go sticking your nose where it don't belong. That's a good way to get yourself hurt. <laughs> oh, she's a mess. I, I love the portrait where where um, Garlic has a huge mouth and they, 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 they look shocked or frightened like they're decrying something, but I'm still doing the valley girl voice, so it doesn't, <laughs> doesn't matter. <laughs> <laughs> All right, did, uh, did we give Talon a gift today? Nope, okay. Nope. Adder it is. How do you feel about this? Don't know what I did to deserve this, but I'll gladly take it. Yep. Still I think we're slowly though. digging our way out of the trench we put ourselves in with them. <laughs> I'm occupied at the moment. <gasps> I thought oh, that oh. was obvious. Two star! Two nope. star! Whoa, whoa, yeah. whoa, whoa, two star. You just going to stand there all day? I guess so. Not it turns out that. Anymore. Yeah, chatting does raise your friendship a little bit. Mm hmm. It was like that in the first game, too. Yeah, yeah. Bye. Hello, Petunia. I trust that you're staying busy. What a glorious day. Not a cloud in the sky. Make the most of it, Petunia. Not a cloud in the sky. You might say it's sunny. Uh, you sure do know how to brighten my day, don't you? Getting Bob a fish, very nice. Moon? Oh, yeah, I was talking. Oh no. But I was muted because earlier I was I was um putting rice in my Eating. Mouth. Um Yeah. <laughs> this is Charlotte's Den. If you want to walk away unharmed, it's best you move away from the door until you get to know them better. Oh, it's uh it's Ember's birthday and we should do something for Ember's birthday. Charlotte has decorated the doorway with strange flowers that you don't recognize. They look poisonous. Yikes. Uh, Ember. Uh, uh, do we have any birds? Uh, probably. Ember seems to like probably birds. Probably in storage. This is Talon's den. You have no doubt in your mind that Talon would be angry with you if you set foot inside before getting to know them better. The interior is sparsely decorated and martial. It looks more like a barracks than a home. Get something for Ember's birthday before Ember's birthday ends. <laughs> Uh, they they especially like um, cardinals and doves, but uh, any bird might work. Somebody's got to run the shop. I don't take personal days, not even for my birthday. It really feels just like any other day. I certainly don't feel any older. I think the excitement of birthdays fades after you've had your share of them. Oh, you didn't have to get me anything, but I am thankful for your thoughtfulness. I 
I do like how there's uh, some characters who are implied to be older and some characters who are implied to be younger. Mm -hmm. Like, obviously, Ember already has a kid. Talon yeah. keeps saying that she's 30 and therefore shouldn't be in the Warrior Cats fandom anymore. And, <laughs> um, uh, obviously, uh, Spark is uh, young. Younger. I don't know if Spark's supposed to be an adult or not, though. Uh, yeah, that, that was confirmed. Spark is an adult, and you can romance them. Mm. They're somewhere around the human equivalent of 19. Okay. Still too young for me. Sorry. Uh, <laughs> sorry, chat. <laughs> yeah. We're marrying Charlotte, anyway. Mm -hmm. Charlotte, whose uh, age is nebulous, uh, but I'm gonna say exactly the same age as Petunia. Uh, exactly, yes. <laughs> Alright, nothing really worth selling here. Maybe the rabbit. Alright, let's go to sleep so that tomorrow we can uh, just give Charlotte another day easy. <laughs> Woohoo! Just shove daisies in their face until they like us. Yeah. Normal. Uh-huh. Doesn't work with garlic, though. I am glad that the storage can, uh, hold so much stuff. Mm-hmm. Agreed. Like a bee. Oops, not the rose. Not yet, Rose. Next time around, I'll, I'll plug a controller in and see if it, I don't have an easier time uh, going in the mines. In the mines. Oh, cool. It's Petunia. You just knocked my ear off again. What's up? Oh, neat. I actually really like these, Petunia. That's sweet of you. If you came to beg for food, scram. I'm not in the sharing mood. You're plenty capable of hunting your own mice. It's like I have to do everything around here. Do, she hasn't do, done do, anything. do they want a mouse? I mean, maybe that's a, a, a hint that they like mice. Maybe? I mean, obviously they probably uh, won't be talking about mice if they can like them. Well, we don't have on their list uh, any food that they like yet, so they very well might like a mouse. Hmm. Our hunters have reported that prey is hard to come by today. I can see it's had an effect on you too, Petunia. I think I can see your ribs. Oh, uh, yeah, yeah we do need to, uh, eat. <laughs> we don't... Let's, uh, let's catch some more. I, I I do really like that the um that the main character has an opinion on the foods that they eat. Oh yes. That is wonderful. You'll eat something and they'll be like, ew. <laughs> Petunia's a person too. It's a, a cat. I want I, I wanna I wanna pick your favorite food option. <laughs> you pick your favorite food from a lineup of food. <laughs> my my dream cattails feature. Oh, wait. Oh, no. Hmm? Oh, no, a crab. Well, first of all, oh, no, crab. But also, Moon, it's our daughter. Of course she has incredibly specific opinions on food. No, no. <laughs> oh, we, we ruined a perfectly good child.
just free money in the grass everywhere. Haven't been seeing many more daisies. But uh, next month the, the snake lily does come out. It's like you can kind of kind of use the, uh, the the pounce to get across rivers a bit. Yeah, looks like it. Yeah. Wonder if that's intended or not. Getting lots of thistle to give to garlic, though. Not that that was thistle, that was raspberries, but... Yeah. Uh, for the record, um, canonically, all of these cats uh, use they-them pronouns uh, so that the player can imagine whatever genders they want. That is uh, glowing. Um, we do end up sometimes using pronouns for a couple of them, but uh, canonically, they-them. Yeah, um, if, if we wanted to be... Uh... I don't know, uh, accurate about it. Every single cat uses they, them. Um, yeah. I guess all cats are non-binary, um, and, um, all cats can have kittens with anybody else. So, Correct. uh, it's, it's really just up to you, um, from what I understand, uh, because every single cat is they. I am the steward of a great treasure. I watch over it until the one who can claim it will come at last. Do you wish to challenge me for it? Then prepare yourself. The challenge is about to commence. I'll ask you your questions and you answer them! Correctly answer three questions and I'll give you a reward! But if you miss three questions, you're out! Here we go! Question one. Which of the following is the largest breed? I think this is probable. Uh, yeah. That is correct! Question two. How old was the oldest domestic cat on record? Okay, I am really gonna go with the oldest one here because I think there was... There was one that was born in the 70s and it was still alive in like the early 2000s. Oh shoot, so, okay. Yep. That is correct! I would have gotten that one wrong. <laughs> Question three. If a cat is forcibly flicking its tail side to side, it might mean they... That is correct! Astounding! Superb! Petunia, you've won! Great work! I'll distribute the prize now. I've been your host. Thanks for playing! I get a power yeah. You found a power paw. You were filled with vigor by the ancient token. Your maximum health has increased! I've been waiting for that. That's helpful. I think you can find more by finding a paw prints in the wild and attacking mm -hmm. them. And that would be attacking great. Attacking the paw prints. If I, uh... Whoa, there's a question mark over there. Oh. Is it a quail? Huh. Pigeon. Pigeon! Very nice. Not quite a quail. Oh, there's a daisy. Daisy! My favorite Wings of Fire character is Turtle, and my favorite Warrior Cats characters are Hawkwing, Dovewing, and Squirrelflight. Ah, yes. Uh, my favorite Wings of Fire, Fire characters are Snowfall and Sunny. Eh. No, I didn't mean to be egotistical. Those are really my favorite characters. And uh, my favorite Warrior Cats character is Hollyleaf, followed closely by Brightheart and Thornclaw in some order. You must be really bored if you're talking to me. My paw is aching up today. It hurts worse than yesterday. I don't know what I did to it, but it's not very happy right now. 
I went to Crampy and got it checked out, and they gave me some herbs to wrap around it, but I don't think they're doing much. Crampy told me they couldn't see anything wrong with my paw, but I don't know. I bet they gave me a bunch of common grasses and weeds instead of real medicine. Oh, everyone's out to get me. I just know it. That is hilarious. <laughs> I love this character. That's not Thistle. Hmm. How do you feel about trout garlic? You don't want to hang on to it? I guess I can't think of anything to do with it, though. All right, well, they're neutral. neutral. Yep. I know someone who likes trout, though. I know a guy. Well, now. How you doing, Petunia? I would enjoy a friendly chat today. Well, now. Thank you very much. That just made my day. Oh, Bob's two stars as well. I've been having a good time fishing. Doesn't matter what season it is. There's always a place to fish if you know where to find it. This is Bob's Den. You know it would be rude to enter without an invitation. Maybe if you knew them better, it wouldn't be so strange. There's some handcrafted furniture inside made of unstained wood. It seems like a comfortable place to pass the time. What's up? Catch any bugs today? You're the best, Petunia. Oops. There'll be a lot of bugs out tonight. I like the clear weather. I can't wait! Very hyper-focused, Spark. <laughs> <laughs> Do we remember what Buttercup likes? Uh, 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 Buttercup likes, uh, shrews. And that's all we've got. <laughs> Let's try giving Buttercup some herb. Oh, and moths? Moths. Oh, moths too? Yeah. I'm gonna try giving her this herb. Oh, uh, are you talking to me? Sorry, I startle easily. Oh, nope. Get away from me! Constantly offending this girl. <sighs> this non-binary. Well, uh, we'll worry about okay, that we later. We need to fix it with them. <laughs> I don't want to be Buttercup's enemy. <laughs> well, we can't mess up twice in a row, right? It's a pr probably. Let's give uh, the same thing uh, uh, to Ellie. <laughs> What's up, Petunia? Something on your mind? I appreciate the thought. Neutral. <laughs> This annoying tuft of fur that keeps sticking up. I can't get it to lay flat on my head. How irritating. It's Petunia. Were you looking for me? You're always coming around to bother me, aren't you? Don't you see that I've got better things to do than have you talk my ear off? Look. That came out a bit strong, but what I'm trying to get across to you is that we can work together without getting to know each other, okay? The less you know about me, the better. Jad, do you have a dark past now? <laughs> uh, which herb did you give Buttercup? Um, Buttercup was given the Valerian. Valerian. Oh, uh, yeah, it turns out we already knew that. Oh, okay, I just did it uh, again. Can't, yep. can't defend someone the second time with the same thing, can we? <laughs> well, let's uh, keep that in mind and try to find a shrew or a moth for Buttercup. We've got moths in our inventory we can yeah. worry about later. I think most of the moths ended up uh, going away when it changed to summer. Mm -hmm. um, so these might be our last ones. Maybe so, but we've got uh, we've got a lot in here. Give this white firefly to Jag. Yay! Have 
have we given anything to... Charlotte today? Yes. Yes. Yeah, we're not- we're not looking too good in Buttercup's book. No. Buttercup, I'm sorry. It's a couple we haven't talked to in a while. Hmm. Phantom, I don't think we've even talked to today. Hey, I was watching you run around earlier. What do you do all day? Summer is a great time for arts and crafts. You can use the heat to your advantage. Paints and glues dry a lot quicker, so you can do more layers in a day. Oh, I wasn't expecting you to talk to me. I usually just keep to myself. Not that I don't like company or anything. I just tend to keep to myself. You have a big job to do, being the leader. I hope you can handle it. If I were the leader, I would probably take on way too much work and get stressed out. Time management isn't my strongest trait. Oh, sorry for the unsolicited advice. I don't know what I'm talking about. Anyways, I've got a lot to do. Good seeing you. I think I've read that before. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, you talking to me? There's two kinds of cats. Winners and losers. You can guess which one I am. Which one are you, I wonder? I don't like to come to conclusions quickly, but cats have to earn my respect. <laughs> you don't need it? You sure? Champ confirmed neutral on lizards. Yep. I haven't talked to Glimmer in a little bit. Wonder if they like butterfly. They might not. To what do I owe the pleasure of your esteemed presence? I can take that. I commune with the stars even in my, my way. Bleh. I commune with the stars even in my waking hours. At all times, they speak in riddles which resonate in my mind. On rare occasions, they visit me in my dreams. Do you hear them too, Petunia? Glimmer seems to think we're awful special. <laughs> Oh. Rare daylight friend. Oh, oh, uh, wait, what did that just turn into? What was that? Uh, the, 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 uh, the friend sort of flattened out and grew several more limbs. Like a dangerous friend? Uh, like a very dangerous friend. Dangerous bad bad friend. Yeah, this friend is kind of after us. Oh, yeah. Yeah, yeah, that thing. Oh, no void moral. Yeah, just just casual stuff. Our friends with too many legs. You know, sometimes you're just chatting with a friend and they grow four more legs. It happens. I've seen it, I've seen it. Friends can have tentacles too. You know where we haven't been in a while? Hmm? To see the spicy juice. Oh, no, no, we mm -hmm. don't need to mm -hmm. see the spicy juice. We don't need to see the spicy juice? We don't need to see the spicy juice, is the thing. I, I think that maybe it's gotten better since the last time we saw it. I don't think lava has gotten better. 
You know, it might have uh, fermented a little, you know? It you might were have, a horrible um, influence on our poor, poor daughter. It might have increased in uh, flavor. Okay. <laughs> there, there are better the lizard is ways enjoying to get... It. <laughs> okay. Don't. Don't hunt the lizard in the lava. <laughs> No, no delicious. No spicy juice. Mm. No, mm, mm, mm. Mm. Petunia, Petunia, I want you to think about this. You, you know what? That's oh, had. You're, you're okay. You found a power paw. You were filled with vigor by the ancient token. Your maximum hunger has increased again. I want my maximum damage output to increase. You're currently taking a lot of damage. That's normal for, for a cat my age. I do not have to believe in the spicy juicy. I'm not going to get behind this. <laughs> she already has one mother telling her that spicy juice is fine to swim in. <sighs> I, I won't be a second bad influence in her life. Yeah, until you say that uh, you should eat fries <laughs> unsalted or something, and then it's all going out the window for influences. Okay, there are different areas in which we could each be a bad influence. I like vanilla frosties. You tell our daughter to swim in lava. Yeah, and I also tell our daughter, hey, eat chocolate Frosties. They are highly <laughs> better. And what people They're actually not, think of when they think Frosty. If you if someone says, yeah, I'd like a Frosty, and you come back with a vanilla Frosty, they're going to be like, what the heck is this thing? Because most people Unless don't even the know that the vanilla Frosty Unless the person to whom the Frosty is me, because the vanilla Frosties are wonderful. <laughs> This is a good place to have this conversation. <laughs> <laughs> yes, I also think fries should be unsalted. I don't like salt. <laughs> I love salt. I love chocolate. Follow Moon Kitty for more correct opinions. <laughs> Okay, but you also have uh, hilariously specific and wrong opinions on what constitutes pizza. Mm, yeah, it's uh, mm. it's flat, needs to be folded, it needs tomato sauce on it. And uh, also it uh, it should come from uh, it should should come from a pizza place. Well, okay, we, we all agree that pizza should come from a pizza place. Unless you're cooking it yourself, one can make your own pizza. It shouldn't come from like Papa John's or anything. I, like, 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 okay, not not a food and not a pizza chain, like an actual pizza place or something you cook. But yeah, if you can't fold your pizza, what kind of pizza is that? Deep dish pizza and white pizza and pesto pizza are all pizza too. Yeah. And pancakes. <laughs> pancakes are not pizza. <laughs> What I have against spicy juice is that it kills you! You know, it's not some people just can't handle the spicy juice, and that's fine. It's... it's okay if you can't handle spicy juice. Spice is fine, but if the thing you're eating literally harms you with every second you touch it, mm -hmm. it's it's not a good thing. Don't Don't keep drinking it. I'm building up a, a, a tolerance the spicy juice <laughs> <laughs> you know i'm not sure that tolerance actually works because the the thing about spicy juice is the spice is one thing and you could get used to that but it's also sticky and hotter than boiling lava it, it, it oh, is it's hotter it's than hot boiling as, water it's no it's lava? hotter than boiling water i was going to say water lava is hotter than boiling water and it's going to stick to you on your insides where you're fragile it's it's not good 
Hold on a second. My mother is here for some reason. I'm going to oh. be right back. <laughs> okay. Yeah, you go ahead. <laughs> oh my gosh. Okay. <laughs> uh, first of all, if the thing that hurts you is tasty, you still shouldn't eat it because it's actively harming you. Um... <laughs> Uh, no, I do not, in fact, use much salt, including on my fries. It exists. Um, spice is great. Things that are spicy are great. Just not things that are so hot that they kill you. For instance, uh, sugar. Sugar is uh, sweet, and it can be made into many different lovely decorations. But if you heat it, if you get melted sugar... It is hot and sticky. It will stick to you and continuously burn you. Okay. This is bad. My mom wasn't here. It was a text from my mom arriving days late that said here. Oh, And I was like, oh, odd. she's out the door. I better go. And it was, no, it was a... It was a very old message giving me a notification. <laughs> Your phone just wanted to remind you that Mom Kitty exists. Sunny Fall, do you like pepperoni on your white pizza? I mean, sure. There, there are plenty of toppings I like. I, I also will eat pasta with tomato sauce. I just grew up in a house where we had a tomato allergy. So tomato pizza, not always an option. <laughs> Why don't I like salt? I don't know. It's too salty. <laughs> <laughs> I I like the flavor of potato on its own. A, a really good fry uh, feels like a baked potato in the center. It's it's soft. It's spongy. We're talking to Bob. <laughs> Basic point here is you should be able to taste the potato. That's the real experience you're getting with a good fry i think salt that salt just covers it up a good fry is one that has so much oil in it that it can't even stand up on its own and uh it just flops around everywhere that that is exactly correct you you can go light or heavy on the oil but the flop also, around because of, it's so soft in the middle is a necessity oh neat i actually really like these petunia that's sweet of you When I'm not standing around being moody, I like to train in my den. You can scratch pretty much anything. Gotta keep your claws sharp. Never know when you might need them in a pinch. That's one thing I try to keep in mind. When things go south, the only cat you can rely on is yourself. So you'd best be prepared and not count on anybody to come save the day. Hmm. That's a good attitude, Charlotte. You know, I would... I do hope that in the final game, or even later on in our relationships with these cats, we learn more about, like, their backstories. This would be nice, yes. It would be cute to have, like, events, like uh, Harvest Moon has. I think we're gonna get to the end of, uh, the end of summer, like we got to the end of spring last time, and, mm -hmm. uh, then, uh, end the stream, I suppose? That should work well, yeah. We got a daisy. Oh, someone asked waffle fries or steak fries. Waffle fries. Mmm. Hard to say because steak fries have a bunch of the really soft potato in the middle, but waffle fries have the perfect shape like crinkle fries do to pick up just enough sauce that they don't overpower the fry. Mmm. I think overall I might have to go with waffle fries because I have had some bad uh, steak fries in the past, but I have never in my life seen a bad waffle fry.
Oh wait, we were gonna give them off to uh to Buttercup after horribly offending them. Oh yes. Oh wow, these are awesome. Th thanks, Petunia. We're pretty low on the ground here. Oh, we're still no. Oh, okay. Stop making fun of me. Okay, we're back up to one star, but just barely. Buttercup just looks like a looks like a cat that might appreciate its Valerian, you know. Maybe there are flowers they like, but it's not these. Much appreciated. I'll be sure to put this to good use. There's a festival coming up. I've been training all season for it. If you thought you had a chance at taking home some festival tickets, think again. You're going to be up against some pretty tough competition. But also, the festivals are not actually in the game yet. You're capable of going to the location, but the festival is not there. Good day to you. Are you in need of my services? If you have the time, I have many experiments to carry out today. Now, where did I put that jar of leeches? I think I've got an empty spot on my shelf for this. What an exquisite day for some field research. I intend to wrap up my findings on whether or not rock debris can tr be transmuted into gold today. Spoiler alert! It cannot. Ah, uh, well. Someday my time in the spot limelight will come and I will be recognized by the scientific community at long last. That, uh, wh whatever you gave him, it actually brought uh, his friendship down a tiny bit. Yeah. Because you went down to one star for a second, but then back up to two stars when you talked. Are you sure that he wasn't one star at first? Positive. You you were two stars. Because hmm. I remember you being two stars when you died. I don't think that's the case, because he said he, he didn't seem offended whatsoever about getting it. Somehow something along the way had made him one star, because he was absolutely two stars when you died. Hmm. Okay, we'll we'll have the uh we'll have the uh thing. chat tell us or we can go look it up ourselves when the stream's over. Yeah. Oh, hello. I was just trying to get Lainey to go hunting with me, but I wasn't making much progress on that front. Lainey is really a good cat. You just have to dig a bit before you start to see it. If you get to know them, I promise you won't be disappointed. I've always known Lainey to be a gifted cat. They have a lot to offer the kingdom. Apparently, Crampy was one star when we started talking to him. And unknown if he was one star when we when uh when we died earlier. Yeah, I I will have to go check that afterwards. Oh look, friends. Oh friends. Friends that Hi, friends. Use the stairs. I love how the scroll runs. <laughs> this place kind of reminds me of the uh, mountain territory in the last game. Oh, yeah. I only ever played on the mountain territory. I, I probably, it, I, I mean, it, it, it might have been a good idea to like try the other territory. <laughs> but every time I start a new game, I just pick the mountain territory. <laughs> It Impressive. <laughs> it's good practice, at least. Well. Huh? Oh, they're they're saying that uh, they uh, he was at two stars when we died. Oh. You found a power paw. You are filled with vigor by the ancient token. 
Your maximum health has increased. Yahoo. Maybe it's because we spent so long not talking to Krampus. Talking to him? Yeah. Yeah, like, like, like he, felt, he felt abandoned and alone. Entirely possible. That was going to be my suggestion after their comment. Which means we should probably be talking to everybody all the time. <laughs> <laughs> I'd imagine that's how we got, um... What? So far down beforehand, too. Probably, yeah. Friends. Oh, hey, friends. We don't really super need to talk to you right now is the thing, actually. <laughs> Not really too uh, keen on friendship right now. Well, it's just we, we need to spend some time with other people. We we have these friendships that we're trying to grow right now, and we really need to put our focus into that. Just uh, <laughs> just trying to make new connections, but yeah, yeah. We'll we'll never forget you. Constantly haunted by um, by our friends and crabs. <laughs> The friends we left behind. It was the a lovers. toxic friendship. <laughs> <laughs> I love how we're still wearing the headlamp. Yeah, like, well, sorry, it... I can't see without this blinding all the cats <laughs> when we talk to them. Oh no, I hadn't actually thought about the consequences. Just glaring it in Talon's face. Talon would not appreciate that. We have a full inventory. Oh boy. I'm sure there's something in here I don't need, like a, um... Yellow scallop. firefly? Or scallop, 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 good. Alright, let's go ahead and sell some junk to Ember. Back to the grass-eating kingdom. I'm assuming this is the way. It's not. Looks like there's three kinds of power paw. One that makes you faster, one that gives you more health, and one that gives you more hunger bar. Oh. Yeah. <gasps> that's a shrew, though! That That's what we give to Buttercup. Okay, well. Put something else on the ground, pick up the shrew. Yeah. And stop catching things. And where am I? Okay. Where, where are we staying with Buttercup right now? Yep. Uh, we only barely got her back to one star. Okay. Let's sell some stuff to Ember. Give Ember a bird, too. While we're at it. Thanks, Petunia. Neutral about my cause, probably. Ember is indeed a mother. Uh, yeah, they're Sparks' mother. Just because it's there. You really didn't have to, Petunia. Thanks. Jack has a keen eye for petty crimes. I once caught a cat <laughs> trying to burglarize another cat's den. 
I interpreted that very differently, Jag. <laughs> I waited outside until the per per perpetrator came out with a massive wad of catnip in their mouth. You should have seen the look on their face when they dropped it to the floor and ran. Jag is really excited about crime. <laughs> Catching it specifically. I have a strong affinity for crime. <laughs> <laughs> Who doesn't? Come on, Jag. <laughs> Want to take a gamble on giving him a mouse? Ah, <sighs> sure. Have we given Talon a mouse before? Uh, let's see. Um, no. Huh? What's this for? Alright, neutral probably. Neutral. Have you scouted the borders today? There can never be enough vigilance over our territory. You can never have too many scouts. Wouldn't want to be caught unprepared for a catastrophe. Maple shade. Not really. Not angry enough to be maple shade. <laughs> Just a little rough. Rough and tough. To what do I owe the pleasure of your esteemed presence? I come from a far off land where the stars are different. I have sojourned far over the raging waves of the western seas to bring my wisdom to these distant shores. Many nights I spend charting a new map of the sky, for my old ones do not properly align themselves to what I see. Hmm. Gambling on glimmer here. Hmm. You know, let's go grab some, like, gold ore and see if glimmer likes that. Very much could. Potentially. Maybe. Is there any way to refine ore? <laughs> no clue. Let's try. This has brightened my day. That much is crystal clear. Okay, so... Likes. Likes it. You must be really bored if you're talking to me. I think I dropped a lizard somewhere around here. Oh, there it is. Do you want it, Petunia? You'll probably take better care of it than I could. It deserves better. Oh, wow. I was given a oh. lizard. Oh! Um, I'm not gonna take care of it, though. <laughs> some thistle for garlic, quick. Yay! To pay them back. Yeah. Right, you know what? This is wrong. There we go. That's the first gift we've gotten, isn't it? It is, yeah. That's for me? Thanks. I guess uh, two stars is where people start just giving you stuff. Apparently. Oh, not the shrew. Shrew shrew's for buttercup. Did we already give Champ something anyway? Uh Yeah. Yeah. Slow down there, Petunia. Save some gifts for the rest of the kingdom. Give too many gifts and you come across as a bit needy, you know? I wasn't expecting you to talk to me. I usually just keep to myself, and you've read this before. Thank you. Honestly, I could have gotten this myself, but I appreciate the gesture. Likes? I can't even tell. Do you like to hunt, Petunia? I find it very fun. Plus, you end up with a nice meal when you're all finished. What better way could there possibly be to spend the day? Hello, Petunia. I trust that you're staying busy today. 
The citizens of our proud kingdom deserve every possible advantage. That's why we've got to make our claim as strong as possible and fast. Alright, the shrew is for Buttercup. Yeah. We probably need a daisy for... Oh, we did. We have a daisy. Daisy for Charlotte. Oh, we put the daisy back. Whoops. I'll grab it in a second. Yeah. I think. Okay. Spider. Rare. Nobody wants this. <laughs> I bet you we could offend any number of people with the spider. It's rare, but we are in no circumstances presenting this to anyone. <laughs> <laughs> not after the, uh... Not, void not after the incident. Void narrow incident. <laughs> I'm gonna give this mouse to Coco. Coco seems to like mouse. And it's a very easy gift. It is, yes. You sure do know how to brighten my day, don't you? Hey, I was watching you run around earlier. What do you do all day? Oh, oh shit. I got paws, I got claws. When I walk by, it'll make you pause. That's my, my contribution is the clapping. <laughs> oh, sorry. I was just singing to myself. I actually practiced that. <laughs> you practiced it. I practiced it because I got so uh, disappointed in myself for not having a song prepared. <laughs> last time how could you not have how could you have known i wouldn't i have, i would never have known but <laughs> i i was very upset <laughs> no frogs for us imagine being a frog We must have a lot of experience. Yeah, we have 616 experience. I don't think there's anything to do with it. <laughs> yeah, not yet. There will be in the final, but uh, not now. I really wish I could just make myself more powerful. <laughs> <laughs> hey, free frog. Mmm, right next to all this free juice. Yes, I practiced singing the in-game song in my free time. I, I wanted to have something to say there. <laughs> hmm. Well? I didn't go out of my way to do it, though. I, I was just doing it while I ran through our stream again to find uh, the various preferences that we had discovered, and mostly hatreds we had discovered. See, I went through other streams to see um, what other people were doing with the demo, what kind of gifts they gave, and what kind of um, responses the cats gave. But almost everything was, like, negative. <laughs> I found yeah. people offending, other, yeah. <laughs> offending the cats uh, pretty wildly. Today I've learned, don't give people anything. <laughs> Apparently not even Crampy likes the Void Morrow. Yeah, well, I, I am honestly not surprised by that, because chunk of... Uh, draining black dead flesh does not seem like a, a very nice gift. Maybe not, but it does seem like something he would be interested in, you know? Potentially. I, I don't think he's interested in that much The only one that I think evil. potentially could see something in a gift of Void Marrow, potentially, like super potentially, would be, um would be glimmer and i don't that was think... my thought yeah and it's entirely because that's the sort of spiritual thing they're usually interested in yeah i don't think it's about to happen uh that stump had a paw said someone there was a stump with a paw Ooh. apparently time to retrace our steps for paw stumps
I don't know. I don't see. I don't see Stump Paw. Well, who knows how far back it was? Because there's probably a lot of stream. A lag. lag in the chat. Yeah, between us and them. Oh, apparently we also got Foxglove, which Champ really likes. Yeah, I saw that. Yeah. And I was thinking to myself, huh. Seeing as Sunny loves Champ. <laughs> Champ is, is a problem. <laughs> Champ, Champ is great. Alright, I'm sorry guys. I don't know where the st paw stump is, but from now on, whenever I see a stump, I'll be thinking of paw. <laughs> I've got paws, I've got claws, claws. I love We're this not... secret spicy sauce <laughs> in that the volcano. <laughs> Yes, yes, I know he's planning a coup, but I'm not I'm not betraying my daughter cuz here's the thing about Champ. We are all on uh, we were all on the first day together aware of his intentions. We knew exactly what they were going to do and how they planned to do it. So there's there's no real danger in humoring them for a minute. <laughs> if if you already know they're going to plan a coup, it can just be funny. <laughs> <laughs> oh, things you tell yourself when you know this is not evidence applicable to real life at all. <laughs> eventually, going to take you down, but they're your best right friend. Right now, what we can be friends. Do? I mean, you can take precautions and all of that. I'm not asking you to be reckless. I mean, they haven't let a coup yet. Maybe not. It's a funny coup. Yeah, thank you, Riddle. <laughs> Sunny, will I say hi to Fluffy? Uh, sure. Hello, Fluffy. Hello, Fluffy. <laughs> Why are you so threatening? Prepare yourself. <laughs> What do you plan to do to Fluffy? <laughs> you think you can run? Yeah, the squirrel looks like a cat from the back. Yeah, that's a good point. Maybe if we befriend Champ, they won't want to plan a coup. Mm. See? That, I, that's much I, better. I call that gambling. Mm, but here's the thing. If, if you know they're planning a coup mm -hmm. and you befriend them, either they'll decide, hey, they're, they're, the leader here, Petunia's not so bad. I don't have to plan a coup. Or... They'll say, I'm going to plan a coup. I should probably tell my best friend Petunia about it. Shoot, wait, I've revealed all my plans, and now she knows how to defeat me. I think you're underestimating the intelligence. It's a win-win situation. I I am severely underestimating Champ's intelligence, but I don't think they're very intelligent. <laughs> wow. I mean, Champ seems to think that, that they're intelligent. <laughs> well, of course. That's what makes me think they're not intelligent. Mm, so anybody who thinks they're smart, they're not smart. No, just... Ones who broadcast it loudly at every opportunity. Hmm. In my experience, people tend to be uh, overcompensating for things in these cases. <laughs> <laughs> Let's see here. Let's see. Daisy, 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 daisy. Oh, look, it's Petunia. 
Here to talk my ear off again. What's up? Oh, neat. I actually really like these, Petunia. That's sweet of you. Three stars. We're now three stars. Need something? You've got an eager look on your face, Petunia. Usually I get up early, because then I don't have to talk to anybody on my way out of town. You're really, a th really throwing a wrench into that plan, huh? Hmm. It's 6 a.m. This is a great time to be awake. Thank you, Charlotte. See, we can be early birds together. I hate being awake. This is wonderful. <laughs> oh, are you talking to me? Sorry, I can startle easily. Oh, wow, these are awesome. Th thanks, Petunia. I, I mean, if you have something to say to me, I, I guess I'll listen, but I don't have much to contribute. I'm not very interesting, but that's what everybody says. Sorry. Again, Buttercup, who is everybody? I bet you it's Champ. I bet you it's Champ. <laughs> it could be Champ, but it also could be whoever they knew before joining Grass Eating Kingdom. <clears throat> huh? You talking to me? Hey, thanks. I'm always on the lookout for one of these. I owe you one, Petunia. You here, uh, you here to hang out with the cool cats? Maybe some of it will rub off on you. Who knows? This is not a trustworthy person. After all, you probably need it. So I'll humor you for a bit. Say, next time bring me some foxglove. <laughs> Keep it up, huh? Cham! Yeah, bring me some, bring me some Cham! Next time. Oh my gosh! Cham! <laughs> <laughs> Say, next time bring, <laughs> bring me some foxglove, and I'll probably be happier to see you. We, we need to go double on that. Good. That wasn't a big enough portion just yet. <laughs> Champ is a problem, can't you see? I can't see. I think this is a great cat. <laughs> That's for me, thanks. It must be so tiring to have the weight of the kingdom on your shoulders. It would wear me down to nothing, I think. I suppose someone's gotta do it, and it best be someone like you that does it and not someone like me. I get all tuckered out from watching you run around town. No way I'd ever be able to do that by myself. Are we capable of entering Charlotte's home yet, or is that a four-star thing? Oh, let's try. Ba -ba -da -da -ba -da -da. I love going in people's houses. Yes. <laughs> oh, we can. Oh, this is beautiful. They have an incense burner. <laughs> oh my god, look at their bed. We're we're good enough friends with them that uh, they they don't want to kill us this is for going in floor. their home. That is beautiful. I love it. It slides a little, I think. I could be crazy. I could be wrong. Yeah, no, it's a nice floor. I'm sliding. What is this a poster of? Uh, a band? Uh, uh, okay, from my perspective, it looks either like a ritual circle in a cave, or an angry clown. Like, this definitely looks like a nose and a mouth and eyes, yeah. but at the same time, it looks yeah, like it could yeah. be like, like a... Like a... Um, stop, stop sitting. Stop circle sitting. of rocks. Looks like it could be like like this is water and then like this is mm -hmm, some structure mm -hmm. and but then there's still fire in the air, so who knows? I like Charlotte's house. But I especially like that we're allowed <laughs> in Charlotte's house. <laughs> if you run in here you slide and you twir twirl. Maybe we should get a nice floor. <laughs> Just for a section. We have a patchwork house anyway. I wonder how you unlock a nice floor. Maybe you purchase it somewhere or get in the mines or Perhaps. Squirrel. 
<laughs> How in the world does Charlotte keep that frozen in the middle of the summer? Well, they're <laughs> very talented. Just oh. like us. We're both very talented. We'll God, make a I great wish I pair. Was in Charlotte's house right now. <laughs> <laughs> See, this this right here, this this spicy water, this this is the opposite of a nice ice floor. Actually, maybe that's why Charlotte is perfect for us. Every time we get burned from putting our pads in the lava again, we can just come to their house. <laughs> it's an option. They, uh, they certainly have an interesting home. <laughs> band Indeed. poster on the wall. What kind of bands does a cat listen to? Ah. Uh, huh. Hmm. Oh. <gasps> oh! This is perfect, but it's only a very slim margin. Nope. Oh. Um, pretty rare bird, I'm guessing. Probably. Guys, guys, we don't need to kill Champ. We don't know that he <laughs> murdered Buttercup. We don't know that he bullied Buttercup. We don't know that he did anything. He's the closest in proximity. Oh my god. Could be sitting around saying, Buttercup, you are so boring all the time. He could he could be saying, Buttercup, you should become interesting like me. Okay, but he says that to everyone. Yeah, and thing. you know what Buttercup yeah. is doing? Taking it personally. Yeah, yeah well, I, I don't think that she got it all from him. Hmm. I, I, I think there are other bullies in her life. <laughs> Buttercup has two hands. <laughs> There's a full-on killing champ section <laughs> in the chat right now. <laughs> everyone is thinking of various ways that we should murder him. <laughs> fun with champ. Fun with champ. Champ funny. And I love Buttercup. Buttercup you know, Buttercup I would probably adorable. agree with the with the conclusion champ funny. Um if you hadn't decided that you liked him. I do. <laughs> Free snake. But see, <laughs> now that I like this cat for being funny, no one else may like this cat for well, being now funny. It's, now it's funny to, to, to... Oppose that position. Yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. It's funny to go, oh, you like champ? See, I, I got the head start on liking Champ because funny on account of getting to voice him. <laughs> I thought it was a curse at the beginning, but no, it has been a blessing of the highest order. <laughs> not not quite as high as Buttercup or Charlotte, but... <laughs> Sorry, uh, Champ is getting cancelled on Twitter. The... No. <laughs> it was just a little bullying. It, it was no bullying. There is no evidence. <laughs> Can I get this power paw? Come on, can I get this this power paw up here? Nope. Oh, there's another blue jay. Oh no, it's not a blue jay. It's something else entirely. Oh! Wait, people have an idea. They have an idea? Yeah, now that we're in three stars and uh, we can go into Charlotte's house, maybe we could give them the the, the uh, red rose. I think I am almost sure that's a four stars situation. It could be because I know that once you get to four stars, the um, and and you start dating someone, the uh, the it turns into like a certain amount of like I think a different icon, maybe hearts. Oh, oh, okay. It could be rings. I totally was I not know, aware of that at all. But I'm pretty sure that like the first four stars are friendship, and then like the second tier. This is this is nonsense from the from the speculation galley, by the way. But um, I think that it has to be four. I, I can't imagine it would start at three, guys. This this was partially my idea and partially the chat's idea. I 
I see. I don't blame them all for this. <laughs> no, it's all the chat. Come on, chat. <laughs> it's Come all the together. chat. Chat is at fault for every mistake we've ever made. <laughs> Filling my little inventory with all the rats in the woods. <laughs> you walk up to Shamp, you walk away. <laughs> <laughs> I know it's because you were actually looking for Ember, but. <sighs> oh, wait, I'm not buying things, Ember. Come on. I was wondering why that sold for so much. <laughs> Wow, two sea bass is worth one not sea bass. Gotta remember Does not anyone... to. Does anyone? Hmm? Uh, Spark likes lavender, but Spark also likes bugs, and we've got plenty of those. Yeah. I can give Spark a bug right now. Tiger butterfly. What's up? Catch any bugs today? You're the best, Petunia. I am the fastest cat in the kingdom. I know because when <laughs> I was just a kit, I would race against the older cats and I would win every time. I asked them to race against me again, but they say I'm too old for those games. Would you race me? Yeah, sure, I'd race you. Oh. <laughs> oh. <laughs> Hello, Petunia, out running errands. If shopping is on your list, I can help with that. Thanks, Petunia. Seems neutral. Probably. That was a pigeon? Mm-hmm. Accounting work is boring, and I could use a break. Counting on your paws all day is a great way to zone out quick if that's what you want. Oh, shoot, I just lost track. Now I'm going to have to start over again. Do you think Ellie likes mouse? Ah, uh, well, it's entirely possible. I've been wanting one of these for ages. I really owe you one, Petunia. They do look nice. I was wandering in the woods earlier, and I smelled the most delectable catnip scent. But try as I might, I could not locate the elusive plant. If you stumble across some, do let me know. Everybody I bet that's their, uh, their angry face if we ever got on their bad side. Mm -hmm. It's Petunia. Were you looking for me? Hey, next time you tell me a story, can you give me the short version? I like cats that can get to the point quickly, alright? Me too, Jag. Wow. <laughs> I hate stories. I like stories. Just being able to concisely articulate your points is, uh, is a rare treasure. Hmm. I don't remember what any of these people- Snake. 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 He just going to stand there all day? Don't know what I did to deserve this, but I'll gladly take it. So, what makes you in charge of the grass-eating kingdom? If you ask me, Coco should have that title. You're okay, you're not wrong, but <laughs> w we started it. Is the thing. <laughs> Coco just, does um... do all of the upper management and teach us how to lead the colony. And takes care of most business and communicates with everyone, but we're the leader. I'm That's the only the one thing. who feeds That's anybody important. here. Yeah, exactly. Nobody else goes outside except for me. Hey, 
It would be nice to get that other backpack extension. It would, but that's like 500. <laughs> Not even like 500. I think it is 500. Oh, here's a spider. Hello, spider. And it's a not a yeah. not a friend. not a friendly guy. I must say, having eight uh, hearts is significantly more relieving. Yeah, get away with more <laughs> wolf spider. Very nice. <laughs> Which of the cats wants to be fed all these spiders, huh? <laughs> I have not found anyone yet. Anybody want a delicious spider? Spiders? Spiders for sale? They're on for cheap. No one explicitly says they dislike spiders either, but this leads me to believe it might be one of those things that everyone dislikes. Void Marrow-esque. It's just a weird thing to give to somebody. Here's a spider. I killed it. And like, uh, like, like the people that I kind of pegged as being weirdos, for example, like, I was under the impression that that maybe Charlotte would like things that are spooky, but but Charlotte's more of just a um a fashion elegant goth. emo. <laughs> <laughs> like like Charlotte likes dressing in an edgy way, but Charlotte also really likes flowers and and that whole feminine like, things that have an air of darkness and mystery. Like like, like anime girls sitting at the lake by yeah, the moonlight yeah. kind of aesthetic. Definitely. Let's, uh, let's take a nap. Six a.m. Perfect time to uh, give out daisies. <laughs> Very good time. How many days did it take then uh, for us to get this far with? Uh, with uh well, we started on summer one. Need something? You've got an eager look on your face. When it's warm, I take a lot of walks. I like my own company. Myself and I have a great relationship. Oh, neat. I actually really like these, Petunia. That's sweet of you. Interesting that at three stars you can start going in people's homes. Yeah. You just going to stand there all day? Up and about early today, eh, Petunia? I respect that. Trouble never sleeps, so we can't let our guard down. It's Petunia. Were you looking for me? I could have used an extra hour of sleep, but I, I'm i proud of myself for getting up anyways. Maybe I'll turn in early tonight to make up for it. I lead a bed early to rise. That's what... Jag always says. <laughs> <laughs> You must be really bored if you're talking to me. My paw is aching up today. It hurts worse than yesterday. I don't know what I did to it, but it's not very happy right now. I went to Crampy to get it checked out, and uh, we already read this, and I don't think they're doing much. Crampy told me that blah, blah, blah. Crampy is poisoning me with grass because he hates me. Um, okay. <laughs> That's for me? Thanks. We are three stars with garlic. Which means we, we could go, go into garlic's, garlic's house. house. Oh, this is a. This looks like Zen my Garden. House. Um. <laughs> you know, <laughs> both Garlic and Charlotte have a pile of garbage in their room. <laughs> <laughs> I wonder if this is about to be a trend. But the plates and bowls on the floor. Oh my god. Some game is they that, never is put that away. Is that a checkerboard? Yeah. yeah. 
How do cats play checkers? Papers. Incredibly relatable character. Of course. You have no idea how much mail is on my desk. I have no mail on my desk. Hello, Petunia. Out running errands? If shopping is on your list, I can help with that. Accounting work is boring, and I could use a break. We've done this already. Shh, I'm sneaking up on this butterfly. Don't let it get away. I know that you don't have to sneak up on bugs. I just do it for fun. All I have is a scroll grabber. That's my whole inventory. I'm sure I can get a bug. Real easy. Bug time, come on. Spot a bug. Bug! Bug! Bug. Anything can be done if you're good enough at catching bug. <laughs> the days are actually relatively long in this game. I haven't felt, um, I haven't felt like I was running out of time, you know? Yeah. No rushing has occurred yet. We are now two stars Oh, two with stars spark. with spark. Wahoo! Oh, are you talking to me? Sorry, I startle easily. You sure you talk to me? You must have more important stuff to do. I'm not even worth talking to. I promise. That is so messed up. Champ messed you up. You don't know that it was Champ. Huh, you talking to me? I'm busy practicing. I can't really talk for long. If I sacrifice my whole day just to talk to you, I'll never get anything done. Two stars with champ. Wow, how wonderful. Much appreciated. I'll be sure to put this to good use. I'm just such a cat. Champs champs and cat. <laughs> yep. Neutral and squirrels. Yep. If you don't mind, I was actually hunting. Yeah, right. You were sitting next to this pond doing nothing, Phantom. <laughs> I know you're trying to be nice talking to me, but I've kind of got everything handled here. If you can keep making the rounds, I'm all good. Phantom... Phantom is pretty, but a bit boring, you know? Yeah, yeah. Like, the, this, this, is a, this is a very, like, a very pretty cat, like a... Like a mm -hmm. Almost like a like a living Bengal, luxury tabby, kind of looking cat, but type um, thing, yeah. Aside from appearance, th there hasn't been much to to appeal Phantom to me, because uh, like Phantom just kind of talks about hunting, and it reminds me of warrior cats where they don't have anything to talk about <laughs> but hunting. Yeah, yeah. So I think of Phantom <laughs> like, and I think, oh, it's it's like a warrior cat was like a transplanted. It's the into warrior the wrong... cat's background character. Yeah. Sure likes to. Uh... Sure likes to hunt. Do that working. But uh, may just lose that personality trait when um, when they have to, to go to the nursery to become a queen. Oh. Um, <laughs> I don't know. I, the Phantom, uh, maybe Phantom has more going for them. Like, like, like being a loner and all, I, I know that can be, like, appealing for some people. Like, oh yeah, they're, like, they're, they're self-sufficient. But I think, um... Charlotte seems like a more effective... Yeah. Uh, well, appealing version of the loner. Yes. Whereas Phantom seems like, yeah, they, they can honestly just do fine on their own and they don't need you. But I, I you, you never know. Like, obviously, I don't know Phantom very well. I don't mm -hmm. know much about them. But, like, when it comes to, like, standoffish characters who are a little bit grumpy, Talon and Charlotte are really, really heavy there. Yes. You know? So, very true. Phantom is kind of, um,. Not well, like Phantom is friendly enough. Like Fa Phantom is 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 like may maybe if like Talon and Charlotte are too abnormal, Phantom can kind of uh... I don't know. You know what? <laughs> now I'm curious. Maybe I'll um start up a file on my laptop and see. <laughs> <laughs> What's Phantom like when What's you get to know the Phantom? real them? Yeah. The real phantom. I don't just like hunting. I also like fashion. Oh wait, that belongs to Charlotte too. I'm the fastest cat ever. Don't 
Don't mess with me, bird. Can I even hit a bird? Sorry, that, that was obnoxious. It wasn't going to get anywhere. No, no, that. no, it's okay. <laughs> <laughs> there was a tiny, tiny chance. I don't know if you can hit them while they're flying. Mm. So, the, the chap was mentioning this a little bit. Uh, now that, that the uh, the cheer that they were trying to fund while we were playing the first time has been funded, the one where the, the cats will get Oh, together. yeah. So, uh, what is your ideal cat ship, Sunny? Oh boy! Between these two characters, um, between mm. these but between characters, two of the of other which characters, two have to be involved. Hmm. Hmm. Pondering over possibilities. Hmm. <laughs> so my instant thought was garlic and buttercup should get together. I think they could help each other's self-esteem. Hmm. I don't know. I don't know if they would actually. Do but they that, might. Though. They, they, they might they just be a mountain of pessimism where no one gets anything done. <laughs> like I can definitely see garlic coming up to Buttercup and being like, "Yeah, you should feel that way because everyone's a jerk." <laughs> oh, that's right. Because garlic also has the trait of thinking everyone's against them. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. So yeah, garlic okay. is just gonna reinforce. Well, I mean, maybe garlic would just reinforce. Um, yeah. It, it could go badly. Alternatively, though, hmm. maybe Garlic would see that Buttercup is, um... May maybe Garlic would see that Buttercup is, uh, is, is struggling with a lot of the same things they are and start to self-reflect a little bit. Talon um, and Jag. Talon, Talon and, and Jag. Jag? <sighs> Talon and Jag. Mm, uh, mm, mm. <laughs> I don't know. They, they both have the care about the colony thing, and I think they could bond over it. I don't know. Maybe. I don't know. Maybe. I don't know. I think Jag is for me, and, um... <laughs> <laughs> okay. uh, no, I'm, 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 As far as rival relationships in a world where Jag isn't for you. <laughs> yeah, no, I'm, I'm, I'm silly. Uh, let's see here. Uh, Charlotte and Glimmer. In a world where we're not, Charlotte. you know, marrying either of them. What'd I think Charlotte? Charlotte and Glimmer could get together well. Do you, I, I mean, Charlotte, Charlotte needs to get over her cringe culture, kind of, kind of. Yeah, but I don't think Glimmer would mind the cringe much. <laughs> <laughs> no, I'm saying that Charlotte would find Glimmer cringe. <laughs> oh! <laughs> to what do I owe the pleasure of your esteemed presence? I commune with the stars, even in my waking hours. I've said, uh, yeah, you've said this to me, you've said this to me. Bye. Um, Considering Charlotte's uh, love of Amethyst, my impression was that uh, they, they might actually find Glimmer to be appealing. Mm. I can see Charlotte and Phantom um, not being anywhere near each other and wanting to be like, oh, yeah. Uh, but, like, like okay, so there's there's characters that don't want, that don't want company, and those characters yeah, are like yeah. Talon, Jag, Charlotte, um, and they're all at the bottom of the map for some reason together. <laughs> <laughs> uh, I, I think I think I could argue that Buttercup does want company. Buttercup probably does. That that is my impression of them. But have I given Buttercup something today? Let's see if they like um, other types of bug. Oh, uh, hold on. Buttercup likes moths, shrews, and staying home. Uh, they dislike Lavender and Valerian, so maybe not herbs. How kind of you. I get really anxious when someone approaches. My mind just blanks. I don't know why, but I've always been this way. I, I didn't mean to make you mad. <laughs> someone get this poor cat a hug. Or something. I don't know if it would... I, I don't think it would be a ship, in my mind. But Spark and Buttercup. Spark seems like maybe mm. they could help. <laughs> mm. 
And also, you know, they both like bugs. I do wonder what age everyone is. I wonder. If, that is a good question. <laughs> but Buttercup seems like 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 a like 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 um, a lot of her mannerisms have taken a long time to develop. Uh, assuming mm-hmm. that more than just Champ is calling her boring. Um, hmm. Not to run around while while speculating about these cats. I. Uh, <laughs> Hey, I was watching you run around earlier. What do you do all day? Do you ever spend all day looking at the clouds? I convinced Fliss to watch the clouds with me once. They said they were studying them for meteorology, which doesn't even make sense because there weren't any meteors. Meteors only come at night anyway, but I enjoyed watching the clouds. I saw so many animals and plants in them. My favorite one was the one that looked just like a trout. Laney likes trout. Mm. Yeah, I will definitely assume that Lainey likes trout from that. That is my uh, heavy assumption. Alright, so... Bob would be hard to ship with anyone. Yeah, the thing is, Bob seems to me like the oldest of the group. Mm. Bob, Bob seems to me like they could be a grandpa. Or, Maybe um, somebody who's kind of like who, who's kind of older too, like Talon or or Ember. Talon and Ember as a ship is seen uh, is one I've seen come up a few times in chat. Oh, Talon and Ember together. Yeah, oh, yeah. Because like, okay, but okay. Picture picture this not shipping Sunny, um, <laughs> who 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 probably will not will not empathize with whatsoever on this idea. But well, we'll try. Okay. Uh, so, so picture, picture big, big, strong Talon, right? Doing a, yeah, doing yeah. a little big, strong Talon. And, uh, we get attacked by a million, uh, rogue cats. Just 10,000 of them. Yeah, of course. And, um, obviously, uh, Ember is over here trying to protect their shop. And See? Spark, of course. And Spark. Yeah. And, um, and Talon comes in and, and just rips all of the rogue cats to shreds, and Ember's like, whoa, you're so cool, Talon. And Talon's like, whoa. <laughs> whoa, that this sounds like a great relationship cool. starter. Yeah. This is this is my my low quality uh, romance fanfiction for for Cattail's Wildwood story. This is the most shipping I have ever done for any uh, <laughs> f- any media in my life. <laughs> It's uh, two two asexual people um, play <laughs> a game to discuss and speculate ships. about shit. <laughs> <laughs> Let me see what the chat says. Talon, Talon and, Champ and Champ can, can bully, bully people, people together. together. No. <laughs> no. I don't know about Bob and Charlotte, but maybe- Bob, Bob and Charlotte <laughs> seems like it wouldn't go well if they're long. But Bob and Charlotte is like a, you ever see, I think it's a Tumblr meme about like a, a big, a, a big booby like a demon OC being shipped with like someone's blob named like Connecticut or something <laughs> or other. I had not heard of that, but that's amazing. I'll, 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 sh- <laughs> I'll, I'll find it and I'll show it to you after the stream. Yep. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I love how every time someone suggests a, sh- a crampy ship, everyone in the chat goes, "No, not crampy." <laughs> it's crampy, Ruiz. No, no, I think it. I think in a in a no, he's mine sort of way. <laughs> oh, oh, okay, gotcha. Okay, this is a jag level of no, no ships. Yeah, yeah. Okay, I'm not serious about that, by the way. Yeah, yeah, yeah I know. There. It's a very <laughs> silly joke. Um, hmm. Charlotte and Buttercup as a ship has been going around a fair bit as well. Which I could see either going really well or really badly. See if that, uh... I don't know. Any Anyone tough with Buttercup would be kind of cute, you know? Yeah, yeah. Because it would be like, uh, like... Oh, Talon and Buttercup. Obviously, they... it wouldn't be that great for Buttercup's character development to have someone fighting their battles for them, yeah. but... Uh, 
It but may, maybe instead of fighting their battles for them, it's actually a level of inspiring them to grow stronger and more assertive on their own. Mm. Like, if, if if Talon or Charlotte or whoever sees this level of worth in them, maybe they can see worth in themselves. Begin to grow out of their shell. This could be really cute. All right, I'm going to sleep so that I can give everybody gifts again. <laughs> it's, my, it's my grand plan. Hmm. Cranky doesn't seem to get out much. No, no, they they pretty explicitly just, you know, stay in their den, do experiments. Like, th there's obvious options there, like, um, someone like, oh, oh, it's their birthday, I forgot. Oh, oh, Did shoot. you know it's Lainey's birthday, too? Make sure you get them something nice. Every year seems to go by a little bit faster than the last. What an odd sensation. At some point, you probably stop caring much for birthdays altogether. Do you have any idea what Fliss likes? Uh, Fliss likes conch shells, daisies, and that's all we know. You know, we, we have some leftover daisies. We can, we can, we can spare one of Charlotte's daisies. Well, actually, we probably have conch shells. Well, no, not conch shells. Um, we have other shells, but not conches. So let's grab two daisies for today. Uh, also Lainey. Any ideas on Lainey? Uh, Lainey likes marigold, diamonds, and trout. Okay. Well, we have a trout, so let's, um, grab this daisy for Fliss. A daisy? Is this from my birthday, Petunia? That's amazing. Trout, right? Yeah, yeah. It's the best day ever. Why, you ask? Because it's my birthday today, Petunia. Don't tell me you forgot. Oh, I can't wait to unwrap it. What is it? Oh, it's a trout? That's pretty cool. Thanks, Petunia. I'm doing nothing all day except running around and picking flowers. Nobody can tell me what to do on my special day. We didn't really discuss any shipping options for the sisters. No. I guess on, on some level, when two characters are, are like really, really close siblings, it's hard. You, you would have to um, consider that their relationship is well, like usually in media. I'm talking about in media. I'm not talking about in media, yeah, yeah, obviously. yeah. But like, like, like in media, a lot of relationships like that get disrupted by um, by by one of them deciding to date. It would it would cause a whole a whole Schism. Love triangle. Yeah. Especially given they're twins. Mm -hmm. <laughs> if you're ever looking for me and you can't find me, there's a reason. My naturally dark fur makes it easier for me to hide. When I'm really not in the mood for company, I find a quiet bush in a dark corner of the woods and crawl inside to take a nap. It's nice to have absolutely nobody to bother you for a while. Eager look on her face. Okay. Eager look on her face, yeah. You just going to stand there all day? If I were in charge of the grass eating kingdom, I'd have a defined schedule for other scouts, hunters, and guards. Defined routes and ships. Our safety relies on efficiency and preparedness. Oh, my efficiency and preparedness, but you know. I like Talon, actually. <laughs> <laughs> it's Petunia. Were you looking for me? Do you ever think about our old homeland? I miss it a lot. Not that there's much left to return to after the earthquake. I'm trying to get over it. I really am. I just don't know how to move on with my life and pretend like nothing happened. Why are we in charge of the colony? Um, <laughs> most colors. Oh. Oh, we can go in Jag's house now. Yeah! Oh, Jag's dead. Oh, wow. There's a Jack's lot house is uh, winding. Look at a little jacuzzi over here. I mean, I mean, I know it's a television, but. Jag's, uh. Jag's been spending lots of money on his dead. <laughs> <laughs> 
Okay, this is set for two people, Jag. Who? Do, do, does he already expect to have a mate? Well, maybe, maybe, maybe Jag's uh, planning on inviting somebody in one of these days. Who's to say? <laughs> <laughs> What's up, Petunia? Something on your mind? You ever go down to the lake and skip stones? It's the perfect activity for a lazy summer night. It's fun to see the ripples form atop the calm water. Hello, Petunia. I trust that you're staying busy today. This new kingdom business is so exciting. I wake up every day with no idea what surprises await. There's never a dull day around here. Hmm, I don't have anything but birds on me. Hope you like magpies, Coco. You sure do know how to brighten my day, don't you? He does. Do I have any fish on me? I do. Fish for Bob. Well now, what's been going on today? Been in on any fun adventures? Oh my, you sure do know me well. I really appreciate this, Petunia. Thank you. You always seem to be running around in a hurry, Petunia. Make sure that you're taking a break. Sit down and relax for a while. I will soon, Bob. You got one more day and then the stream is over. Indeed. What do I owe the pleasure of your esteemed presence? There are so few cats whose destinies will lead them to greatness. I speak to you in confidence, but you and I are two of that kind. Truly, you must have always known deep in your heart that your path will lead you to glory. I have felt it too. But we must not lord it over the other cats. Some are the jealous type. Share not the words I have said. I don't know, are you sure Charlotte would put up with this person? <laughs> Yes, actually. <laughs> this made me uh, believe that Charlotte would like them even more. <laughs> you must be really bored if you're talking to me. Wait, did we used to be three stars with garlic? Uh, oh. yes. Oh, there we go. Okay. I don't know what you're so happy about. Something about that smile is really bothering me. Sorry, it's not your fault you're happy. It's my own problem. I don't know why it annoys me, but it does. Wow. <sighs> garlic. Well, some thistle for garlic. Yeah. And, um... <sighs> Give Champ the Thrush, I guess. Oh, no, 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 no. They, they oh, explicitly hate thrushes. I forgot. Uh, rats, shrews, voles, mice. Alright, only only things that crawl on the ground. Yeah. Which I don't have much of. Oh. Yeah. Not looking good in the uh, gifts for champ department. I guess we have to go outside and catch a rat. be in the right part of the woods for rats. Potentially. Uh. Yeah, let's uh, let's go in the other direction, I guess. Oh wait. Bird? Oh, mouse. Rat, rat. rat. Yeah. Very nice. There we go. And back for champ. Something for champ. Yeah, run for it. Hmm. Back to the lovely grass-eating kingdom. 
I've got a second if you needed something, Petunia. I keep a pile of heavy rocks around so I can train with them. You wouldn't believe the gains you can get from picking up and chucking a couple of big rocks every day. I need to head down to the river and find some more. That's where the best rocks come from. Where are the rocks that, rocks that he already had going? Well, I chucked them. Where? I chucked them. <laughs> you don't need it? You sure? You talk to me? This is sorry, I startle easily. You sure you want to talk to me? You must have more important stuff to do. I'm not even worth talking to, I, I promise. Alright, I thought I had like a... Like a bug or something, but... Hey Phantom, how do you feel about bu about frogs? Oh, nope. Can't really use this, to be honest. Uh, I'm not even sure where to put it. Alright, Phantom hates us now. Phantom hates frogs. Oh, wait, that we already knew that. I'm sorry. Did I already do this? I definitely should have warned you. <sighs> I keep thinking, I'm gonna give someone this thing, and it's always the same thing I've already given them. <laughs> it's okay, you don't have to be on the bubbles. <laughs> <laughs> Well, I try to give these characters the same crap that I've offended them with 20 or 30 times. So, Buttercup likes moths, shrews, and staying home. Dislikes lavender and valerian. Oh, how kind of you. Perfect. Butterflies. They're like moths, but like, um, better. Yeah. It's prettier. Better. <laughs> Alright, I have no idea what Phantom likes. I guess, uh, they, they've had some pretty neutral responses to mice, right? Uh, yes. I believe so. Hopefully you can't dig too far a hole with these characters. Oh, that was another daisy. A after it is. They, so, Phantom, da, 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 likes finches, peppermint, and hunting, dislikes frogs and formality, neutral on mice and voles. Alright, what did they like? Uh, finches, so maybe birds? Okay. Keep that in mind for tomorrow. Give a bird to Phantom. Who hates us? Probably largely because we also don't talk to Phantom. That would also probably be, uh, next session. Since it's- oh, no, 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 no. no, no, no we got one more day. Yeah, yeah, one day. One day to repair the damage we caused. Since All told, though, we've been doing better than last time. Yeah, I mean, we only offended one person- or was it two? Yay! Buttercup? No, Buttercup, Buttercup, we offended Buttercup again. Oh, two again people. We defended two people. With the same stuff that we offended yeah, Buttercup with uh, the first time. that we time. already offended them with, yep. It's probably not mm. doing much to Buttercup's self-esteem that someone made the mistake of giving them something they hated twice in a row. I wonder if we'll get four star with Charlotte tomorrow. That would be lovely. It can't be far off, you know. Yeah. We I mean we've been giving them a lot of gifts. <laughs> Metric ton of daisies. <laughs> Charlotte, we have filled your home to the brim with daisies. Please will you date us? <laughs> Is that a stoat? Oh shoot. Nice! Oh, lesser weasel. weasel. Oh, I am starving. Uh, frogs. Let's eat them. 
No one else likes frogs. <laughs> yeah, but when I eat them, I go, mmm. <laughs> oh, you're the person in the colony who likes frogs! Finally. Now they know oh, what to give me. You and Glimmer like frogs. Oh, Glimmer likes frogs? Yeah. Let's give Glimmer a frog. Because we have seven of them. <laughs> you can eat one, give one to Glimmer. I don't know if we've already given Glimmer something or not. Nope. Okay. Alright, let's, um... Charlotte, three stars. Talon, two stars. Jag, three stars. Phantom hates us. Hmm. Grampy's back down to one star again. We should probably just give him something. Yeah. He's just so hard to get to. He's in his little little cave, not talking to anyone. Grampy's best friend is... Or, whoever Grampy romances must be someone who gets hurt a lot. <laughs> Uh, yeah, Sunnyvale, uh, has in fact gained eyebrows since the last video. <laughs> Would you like to read this, Sunny? Oh, yes, I'm so sorry. <laughs> My colleagues assure me that it is impossible to cure the common cold without a tr with the treatment of leeches. But that is precisely why I must persist in the application of my methods. If nobody else is there testing these hypotheses, how can we be certain? Kirby's great. <laughs> Greetings, Petunia. I diagnose you with being a good leader. Wahoo! By my beak, that's an amazing specimen. sleep and then we'll see. Probably gonna wake up at 2 a.m. Well, who doesn't? Eh, that's fine. It's 4 a.m. It's 4 a.m. It's the next day, yeah. either way. Need something? You've got an eager look on your face, Petunia. I need to give you a daisy. No, not the peanut butter pie. I can't imagine how horribly that would go down. <laughs> Probably. Yes! Oh, neat. I actually really like these, Petunia. That's sweet of you. Hey, what's new with you? Hey, I'm still waking up. I need, like, at least another hour before I'm at a conversational level of consciousness. Got it? Let's go get there. So why don't we... Why don't we go give something to Phantom and then come back when Charlotte is more conscious? Okay, okay, fine. Phantom, uh, probably likes birds. Probably. Sorry, can I help you? I thought you'd pass by, but you're still standing here with that goofy look on your face. Oh, thanks. I will share this. I'll, I'll store this in my den for now. <laughs> Good. Okay. You like thrushes. I'm getting pretty tired. I might go to bed soon. I think it's important to get a good night's sleep. Our brains are doing a lot of processing while we're asleep so that we can start the next day at peak performance. Let's go get the rose. Let's go get the rose. Let's go get the rose. <laughs> rose, 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 rose. But um, uh, let me just get something to give to Jag too. Mm. Licorice? Do you firefly. have any? Or Firefly? Yeah. Yeah. Quickly gallop down here. Talk to Jag. If I don't wake up before the sunrise, I feel like I've wasted the whole morning. I make it my goal to always rise as soon as possible. I like Jag. Jag doesn't need too much sleep to get by, so I might as well do something useful with my time. Everything's good around town today. Nothing new to report. You really didn't have to, Petunia. Thanks. All right. Rose, Charlotte, rose, Charlotte, rose, Charlotte, rose. Charlotte, 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 Charlotte. Let's see if we <laughs> even can give something like this. Well, uh, we've already given a gift today. Please. 
please. Please. Please. Hey, hey what's new with you? Alright, alright. I guess it's time to level with you. I might... Kinda... Sorta have a crush on you. Hey, don't make fun of me. It's not easy for me to be vulnerable. I've been putting on a crusty, unapproachable front for so long now that it's like 90% of what's left of me. I don't really know what a relationship means for me, and I don't want to be one, like one of those boring, love-struck idiots. But if the offer still stands and you're down for something weird, then I guess I'm your cat. Let's see what happens. This is a funny face. <laughs> We did it! We have a girlfriend! We have a girlfriend, and um, that uh, the name is now Pink. Yeah. Because <laughs> Charlotte's Charlotte's our true love. Yes. Charlotte's our beloved. So I think this is where we're gonna end it for now. I'm gonna go into the that. Seems game. like an appropriate time to yes. end. Yeah. <laughs> if you want to end exactly the same way, we could see the TV. <laughs> okay, sure. Let's watch the television. Yeah. As you gaze, you see an image of the skies appear. Today, expect clear skies all day long. Right now, it's sunny outside. Okay, that's enough. That's enough weather. <laughs> While you stare into the depths, you can hear kindly voices calling out to you with words of wisdom. Hello, Petunia. How are you? I'd like to tell you more about weather today. Our local climate sees every type of weather, including sunny days, rain showers, blizzards, thunderstorms, fog, and more. In general, precipitation will mean that there's less prey walking out and about. Didn't I say that was enough of weather, huh? Fog means that it's easier to sneak, but you may find it harder to notice threats looming in the gloom as well. Inclement weather, such as thunderstorms and blizzards, are nasty and unpleasant to be in, and very few animals will brave the weather during these events. You can figure out what the weather will be in advance by consulting a crystal-clear pond, like the one you stand at now. Not only will you be given a vision of the current weather, but you will also be granted foresight into the weather patterns of tomorrow. Use this weather-related knowledge to your advantage. We now return to Tall Tales, brought to you by the Public Cat Broadcasting Committee. Glad we are we thankful for our sponsors and donations from cats like you, who keep Tall Tales on the air. Have you ever thought how strange it is that cats like you and me are able to withstand all the elements of nature and continue to live fruitful lives? We have many reasons to be grateful. Not the least of those reasons are the guardian spirits. Benevolent mystical beings, the guardians are incalculably strong and unusually, uh, usually quite wise. They have been friends to the cats for longer than memory can recall. It seems that each guardian spirit has found a large group of cats to adopt and protect and nurture. With the blessing of a guardian being, we stay healthy and stronger for longer than nature should allow. Aside from the threats that the natural realm can pose, the Guardians spend their days protecting us all from, sorts of, uh, from all sorts of unseen threats that only their shrewd eyes can perceive. I once asked a powerful Guardian to describe them to me, but they fell silent and would not re answer my request. And now we close the book on the tale of the Guardian Spirits. Come back next season to hear me tell another strange story. All right, Apparently more. there's news about us. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Good morning, cats! Oh, sorry. Good morning, cats of the grass-eating kingdom. It's 5.50 a.m. on summer 10, year one. This is Coco. <laughs> Just yeah, Coco. this is Coco. It's the last day of summer. Didn't it go quick? It's your last chance to catch butterflies before they migrate. There's a special event happening today. The summer festival is taking place at the Festival Plaza. It starts at 10 a.m. Let's celebrate together. That's all the news I have for now. I'm signing off. Thanks for watching. Uh, Coco, how it might they, be tomorrow. How, how does how does Coco um get get into the pond? Get into my pond? Are yeah, they, that's are that's a fair question. Are they swimming into my pond? I unclear. <laughs> okay, well, well. <laughs> uh, that is the stream, everybody. I hope you had a good time. 
This was uh, a lot of progress, honestly. Mm -hmm. We have a girlfriend. We we we, we su successfully have our beautiful non-binary girlfriend Charlotte, um, who 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 lives in the corner of our town and never moves. Yes, it's perfect. 